as a group, you have decided to venture into the Doom Vault. This is a legendary dungeon um, just below Nordberg in Eridrum. It has been a site of perpetual kind of chagrin or angst for the people of Nordberg. The Ogdru cultists repeatedly, just in a cycle, consistently come back and attempt to do their dark deeds and summon great demons and great evil into the land. And every time adventurers come forth to stop them. And so, yet again, we've cycled back to the Ogdru cultists being up to no good. You adventurers have stepped forward to stop them, and we will see if you succeed and perpetuate the cycle, or else, or the cycle will break, and evil will win. So, your goal is to delve into the, into the vault itself, survive, stop the Ogdru cultists, and escape uh, before it's too late. But we begin at the most commonly known entrance to the Doom Vault, which is Crow's Watch, an outcropping amongst the cliffs, the cliffs bef below Norberg. Waves crash below you. The, s the storm is brewing and coming in from the sea, and uh, you see this. The as you've climbed down the cliffs, you finally land on this little landing. The stones are there; they're washed and wet with seawater. You see the bones and, like, you know, tr left leftovers of failed adventurers who, who've, um, you know, didn't make it, or have been cast out from the from the vault by by those inside. Additionally, you see the harpies nesting above. It's only a matter of time before they take notice. So, everyone, give me a d20 roll. And let's establish our turn order. Nice, oh, Skrillex. Nice. Kicking it off. Okay. Uh, we can <laughs> save a couple of those. That'd be nice. <laughs> All right. Skrillex and Sinus with your nat 20 right off the bat. Give me another one just to see. Break the tie. All right. So Skrillex will go first, then Sinus, followed by Broda, and then Grimnar leaning up the back. Okay, Skrillex is going to first turn back to the group and say, um, "Why, why are we doing this again? Why, why, why exactly are we here?" Which point uh, Sinus rises off his knees uh, from prayer toward the the sea and says, well, "Brothers, we have uh, a duty to the people above on the cliffside. We have a threat to deal with and." With luck, we'll be breathing this salt air again in a matter of hours. Oh, yes. Well, I guess I was drinking well when you convinced me to come, but we're here now, so maybe I'll put it in a song eventually. And then he's going to... Um, these harpies, uh, we, we can see them, obviously. Yes, you can see them moving in their nests. They're they're beginning to take notice of your presence, and so I'm sure they'll they'll be be upon you in just a moment. Um, otherwise, you see across the way the rusted gear of the adventurers um, scattered about. You see this dark cave entrance leading into this kind of black tunnel that you can't see too far in, um, and from a distance you can tell that the outside of the the cave is carved with ancient runes. Um, still resisting the weathering of the of the sea, but from this distance, right. not quite re readable. Well, Skrillex is just going to say uh, that he one day will embellish all of his deeds today, but for now, it's time for his brothers to shine here. Uh, and he's going to use uh, his mandolin to uh, start playing a battle hymn to inspire them. Uh, with a cha roll, I can reduce our target right now by two. Okay. Very nice. Oh, all right. So I'm going to have to hold off on that. All right. As far as my movement goes, about how far can I go? So uh, your movement with a with a dash, you could get to the door. With t After taking an action, you can get about to where the, the, the skeleton card is. So this is a far, far across. 
All right, and do I get any uh, any kind of cover in these rocks, or am I just going to be completely exposed? You could get some cover if you ducked down and, and everything. They, you might be able to duck out of the way of any harpies swooping through the air. All right, I'm going to try my best to just crouch in in uh, by the cart and by the uh, rocks, or the stones there. That's my okay. turn. Yeah, give me a D4 roll just real quick. <clears throat> okay. You notice that there isn't quite le much left. The rust and seawater has taken, but there is one sh piece of loot that, um, if anybody spends their spends their action searching, uh, they can get they can grab. But your mandolin plucking hasn't quite made a song, but it has garnered the attention of the harpies. The screech one takes off, and begins circling. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right, Sinus. Uh, Sinus sees one of the foul creatures uh, soaring overhead and says, Brothers, uh, it's best that we keep a brisk pace, and uh, I will do my best to uh, try to rally us some backup as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take a near distance move if I can to sure. where Acrylix uh, is, and uh, I am going to try to tap him on the shoulder and cast Holy Bulwark and give him uh, 10 temporary hit points. Nice. Much better uh, roll, by the way. Oh, and uh, to cut in, I was so, I'm still waking up, obviously. Uh, I rolled a 7, correct? Yes. Yeah, so I did hit the target. I, cause because I have you a have three. a charisma bonus. Yep, yep. Nice. So with my with my bonus, it should have it should have worked. Okay, and that's for one round, correct? That it's lowered. Uh, it is. Um, yes, I believe so. All right. So for the next round, until it gets back to your turn, the target is eight. Four. Thank you, brother. And I see something over here in the cart. Right. Okay. I believe that brings us to Broda. Uh, Broda would probably just be uh, keeping an eye out, watching to see a bit. Uh, probably just smoking on his stogie a little bit. It's about <laughs> it's winding down. Uh, he's not too concerned about much. He does start. Seeing that there's some harpies, you know, starting to kind of circle above, uh, he'll move forward as well. While doing so, uh, if there's any rocks on the ground that are good heft enough to where he might be able to throw, uh, he'd pick those up as well. Sure. Uh, give me, give me D four. All right, you get you kind of get find two hefty rocks that feel comfortable in your hand enough to grab. So you have, you know, throwing rocks, two uses, essentially that you can hold on to. Okay. Um, and if that didn't take my it did not take your action. Turn action. I guess I will search the corpse. Okay. Um. So with it up. yeah, just give me a D one hundred roll. Oh, nice. Good stuff. 32. Come on. 32. You find a worn longbow. It has, it's a weapon, so you get weapon damage um, with it, and it has a 10% chance of breaking when used. So uh, what we'll say is that if you were to roll a 2 or a 1 when if using, then it will break. Okay. Um, he would probably hand that off to somebody who might want the backup weapon more than himself. That's fair. I could always use another bow. Am I right? And you have it. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Grimnar leading us, leading us out. Uh, Grimnar looks up and 
sees the last harpy fly out and raises the uh, eyebrow and uh, sort of chuckles to himself and just says, uh, uh, target practice. And uh, he like pulls back this crossbow off his back, somehow mechanized, loads it as he pulls it off. And it, like he, he knocks, the, uh, you know, it's loaded and he shoots this one here. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me that, so give me that dex roll. Uh, he fires into the air like it flies way off, and then he just runs <laughs> and hides behind the rocks. They're like, oh, out of boy. So with faulty, it, bo uh, faulty bolt. <laughs> no dex bonus to get that up to eight. Uh, actually, I had a plus three. So. So you did it. Uh, you hit. I guess I did. Thanks to Skrillex's uh, song, the target was lowered. So you hit. Roll your damage. points of damage. Three points. You hear them screech. They are royally angry now, but there is a bolt sticking out of one, and with the pain she drops. Um, catches herself before she lands, um, but she's now much lower and much easier to reach uh, with, it, with with melee instead of ranged. Okay. Alright. Well, the timer drops to from four to three, you hear the rumbling of thunder in the background, um, kind of underneath the screeching of the of the harpies as they start to swarm after being attacked. Um, so let's see, they're going to let's see, we're going to have two of them attack Grimnar for uh, attempting, you know, for shooting one of their sisters, and then for the rest of you, we'll roll a d6, one two for Sinus. One two for three four for Broda four five for for uh, all right one two Skrillex, yeah, go like that. So gotcha. three four is Sinus. So we'll have two attacks on on Grimnar and one attack on Sinus. So the first one that they're going to try to do is uh, just to some talons on Grimnar. Get get down, my friend. That is a uh, that is an eighteen. So they're going to do 2d6 two, two okay. damage. Oh. Okay, that's 5 points of damage as it's, they swoop by. Right. And the other one is going to like fly by and screech at you. Give me a charisma save, Grimnar. Alright. As you, you're able to resist the deafening kind of call of the harpy and her anger she swoops by all right and this last one is going to come down and try to pluck at uh at sinus grab his shoulders and start lifting him up sinus give me a a, a dex save oh yeah Okay. All right. So you just miss it. All right, everyone. Now, as they kind of finish their individual attacks, they swarm and swoop down together as a group, trying to knock you, you as a lot, um, off, off the cliff. So everyone, give me a deck save. That's a uh, that's a seventeen. Pat. Yeah, I think we all passed. Yeah, you all yeah. passed. Using the rocks and hanging on to each other, you're able to duck out of the way um, as the harpies fly over you as a group. Um, no one being sent off to the side, or at least to the towards the edge. Okay, that's going to bring us back to Skrillex. Can I do a check uh, to see if uh, this raised elevation, you know, possibly their nest uh, location is... Uh, better access point, or the or the point where we want to enter, as opposed to here. Um, I will. Yeah, you can you can do a check for it. Okay. Did you run int on that, or yeah, that's okay, fine. Okay, and the and the target is back to ten. Yep. Uh, so that wouldn't. I don't have a. I don't have a buff to either of those. Okay. So I wouldn't make it. Yeah. All you right, do. So you I, do have a map. Um, a little bit of, of Doom Vault, and 
the Harpy's Cave you do kind of see goes up towards the surface rather than down where the Ogdru cultists tend to tend to dwell. Friends, is it worth this fight? Or should we flee? Run like the wind, brother. I'm running. All right, with that, he is gladly going to stop strumming and uh, hightail it into the entrance here. About okay. how far can I get in? Um, right about there is fine. You're inside the cave, away from the harpies, but yeah, you're just in just in the entrance. You're still. It is not too dark yet that the others can't see you. Uh, uh, just... And can I can I possibly still take a shot just to? Uh... Or would or would my action be kind of inspecting the? Um, uh, I I would say you could still take an attack. It will probably be hard as you rush into the cave, but yeah, yeah go for it. That's that's fair. All right, so I'm gonna draw back my my regular bow, launch an arrow, and that's going to hit. Nice. Four. Plus two on my weapon attack. For three. And are you and attacking? I'll, I'll sp- I'll strike the uh, the one that was lowest that we had already wounded. I see an arrow still. Our bolt still sticking out of her. Okay. Well done. I'll cover you. <laughs> Get in Excellent. here. Okay, Sinus. Uh, Sinus is uh, scowling as the harpies continue to harass us, but he sees uh, Grillix's arrow hit home and it heartens him. He looks up at the sun for what is probably going to be the last time Then he puts his palms together and forms a small spark of sunlight or tries to, in his palm, regeneration. Uh, I'm plus three, so that hits the target. And he hits that to uh, Grimnar and uh, puts it on his forehead. It absorbs in, and he gets uh, the next three rounds, he'll get a D8 heal. Sweet. And that's on Grimnar. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to let you track that one, Grimnar. That's actually, uh, at least in Master, it is at flat four turns. You don't roll a d4. Oh, actually, you're correct. It is. I beg your pardon. Good catch. And uh, then, uh, heeding his own words, he runs like the wind. He's (laughs) going to stand just inside the mouth of the cave. Okay. Uh, of the cave. There you go. Worth no. Sorry. No, you're good. Yeah, both of you have, have have done great work as you run past you know past the etchings around the cave entrance and enter into the dark of the tunnel. All right, excellent, Broda. Seeing everybody is uh, ready to go inside. He'll take uh, one of his stones and see. You. You know, he's kind of been palming it, getting the heft of it, and he'll chuck it towards uh, the lowest harpy right here. Okay. Uh, before, also, regardless if he hits or not, he turns, goes into the dungeon. Okay. All right, we're ready to go. Sorry, I hit roll twice. Mm-hmm. The two, and you miss. Yeah, but the stone goes wide. You over her flapping makes it a difficult target, but you're able to distract her long enough that she didn't. She sees you, all she sees is you running into the cave. All right, that brings us to Grimnar. <coughs> right, I'm gonna first roll my my first thing a heal, I guess, and he is going to. Uh, Load another bolt and fire this, fire it at this thing. Mm-hmm. Nice. And that does uh, be uh, ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Who? Yeah, that's enough to nice. drop her. She suddenly, after hit getting hit, she she go her wings go limp and she falls. And the other harpies scream as they dive after her, trying to save her sister. You can see anger, anger on their face as they dive out of view. And well I done. Grimnar just chuckles, <laughs> got him, and then like <laughs> runs as fast as possible, and he does like a, 
like a baseball slide into the <laughs> cave. Very, very nice. Well, Berto will be there to reach a hand out to help pick him back up to his feet. Thank you, brother. Good shot. Excellent. Your deeds are noted, Master Dwarf. Well, you guys have succeeded in entering into the Doom Vault, and your spirits are lifted after dealing so deftly with the harpies. Um, each one of you take a hero coin. Nice. Thank you. You're, you're, you're emboldened as you enter into the dark of the long pattern. This is known to be an ancient ritual uh, path for the Ogdru cultists. You see that the tunnel itself is dark, there are no lights, um, but from the light of the cave entrance, you see that the, the cave itself is dark stone, and the floor is inlaid with, with quartz and obsidian. Little uh, splotches of red liquid are visible um, on the scratchy surface on the floor. A few stalactites reach down from the ceiling, and all you see is darkness up ahead. So. And it and, and the entire floor is kind of soaked with that. Uh, the yeah. Red. Okay. So Skrillex. All right, and then uh, Skrillex with uh, I do have some uh, dark vision. Can I see all the way across this cavern, or just about halfway? So, or? so you can see about halfway. You could like you can ha see about halfway well, and then at the far end, it's not you know things are more silhouetted. You see two large figures, probably. From the from the looks of it, you can imagine they're about the same size of Broda, your hill folk companion, or maybe even a touch taller. It's gonna turn back to his friends. Uh, friends, uh, I was feeling very good about getting away from the harpies, but this darkness and uh, something up ahead has me shivering. Should uh, should we risk the light? bit too late anyway. I'll got you. I'll protect you. Do we have uh should I uh should I strike up a torch or if you have some. I, I have no torches. I have a lantern. Alright. Uh then maybe stealth is in order and uh he's going to kind of stealthily sneak up in, in hopes that uh they're Arrival has been quiet enough to not alert anyone down in this tunnel. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to try to get behind an alcove or stalagmite. Uh, and um, no action quite yet, um, except to just offer some inspiring words. Could I, uh, could I give my, my child roll for some inspiring words to the party? Yeah, go for it. Give me a charisma roll, and then afterwards give me a dex roll for that stealth, just to see how stealthy you are as you... Woo, boy. Oh, so, uh, so, remember, as I told you before, I will embellish my parts later, but now it's your time to shine. Friends, do your deeds. Do your deeds well, and I will, I will immortalize you. And with my dex, that's a 12. Okay. Well, with your nat 20 for on your... Uh, your battle him, the minus two to the target will be uh, will last for two rounds instead of one. Thank you. Score. Okay, but st stealth wise, you you make it just fine. No, no uh, reaction from the silhouettes you see off in the distance. Sinus. With permission, I'm going to hold my action and let my brothers get as far forward as they can before I take one. Okay. Broda. Uh, Broda would follow suit, uh, trying to be at least not boisterous in his way down the the hallway, if that's what you call this. And he'll uh, move up with uh, Skrillex. Whew. Mm. And apparently he's Solid Snake now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> nice. So he'll move up, and uh, even the... He stealths so well, 
even the small bit of cinders on the end of his stogie are not even the scene. <laughs> Very nice. We'll say your next dex attempt will be easy. I could take that. Perfect. Perfect. All right, Grimnar. All right. Can you guys hear me a little better? Yeah. Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're good. good. You sound good. Okay. I'm just having issues with that. Um, okay, so I'm going to roll my healing first. Nice. Uh, and I am up to max now. So. Uh, he is going to kind of rush forward quietly a little bit past everybody and like kind of lay down or kneel and just like have his crossbow ready and and uh you know just kind of wait uh i will also roll a dex to see if i can be stealthy about it and you just hear clomp 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 <laughs> like <laughs> and echoes and everything he's like oh, i'm sorry <laughs> okay well as you as the noise just echoes and reverberates, everyone clenching as the noise is just so, you know, it stands out in the quiet of the of the tunnel. You see nothing from the silhouettes. But as you lay down, you do see that the floor, there are runes and etchings um, on the floor as well that could be studied if, uh, if needed. Do I have any time or ability to do that, or would that be next round? That would be next round. I am done. Okay. All right. Dennis will uh, g give one look back over his shoulders to make sure there's nothing uh, too bad happening. He takes just a few steps forward so that he is near distance from about that point there, okay. just ahead of where the runes are. And he holds his palms out flat to the ground and tries to cast Elemental Earth. Okay. Uh, which is a fail, so he's going to toss in that hero coin and nice. get it to go. And uh, a slowly, uh, a five foot tall or five foot thickish, depending on how you interpret angle of repose, uh, uh, bulwark of uh, earth and stone rises up just there it's climb overable but it provides cover and impediment uh for anybody who is coming towards us and hopefully also out on the cliff face as well and that's going to be uh my turn as i move the rest of my distance up to my friends okay well done all right we'll consider this cover you've got you don't have to make deck saves as long as you're behind this stone um so you're good to good to go there Alright. It comes back around to me. The target remains nine. Um, and it's... <coughs> the, uh, the, the silhouettes, again, remain standing. As you get closer, you do begin to see the silhouette of a, uh, of a doorway, an archway, leading, leading onward into the tunnels. But they remain standing there. Skrillex, back to you. Uh... It's fair to say that Skrillex has not noticed the runes on the floor. Yeah, that's fair. Unless Grimnar like declares it to you, like there, there's no issue if if he's like, oh yeah, I told everybody. There's, I'm, he's reading something. So I think I, uh, I, I probably would have mentioned, oh, there's something strange written on the floor here. I think uh, Skrillex would probably um, kind of look down at the ground and say yeah and there's also blood and and try to try to stay away from you know kind of watching his feet he, you can see him kind of wiping off his feet as he's going and he's going to sneak up to the boulder that has uh, been created in front of him or the outcrop here uh, and uh, can i just get can i roll to get a better look and see um if either of these foes that we can see down uh, what what they might be carrying? What they do? They look like they're animated at all, or do they look like statuary? Sure. So maybe just uh, would that just be a whiz roll? Yeah, whiz well, whiz would be perfect. All right. All right. So as you kind of peek over the the boulder and peer down the way, you see this the the figures. They're large, 
muscular figures. They they some they both seem to be carrying these broken weapons, a large great sword and a giant battle axe, um, as well as kind of like the broken half of a shield. They do seem to be animated. You can you can listen between the drops of water, just the of breath, but they remain fairly stoic and stationary. Shall we ask them for pass? Well, if they're not acting hostile towards our uh, dwarven companions, boisterous entrance, they may not be adversarial. Yeah, Skrillex would lift up his foot and say, I guess it begs the question what this liquid is all over my feet, but I uh, guess we'll see. And uh, that's my turn. Perfect. All right, Sinus. Uh, Sinus so is going to try to cast Elemental Vortex. Okay. And that is a go. So uh, he used can feel a crackling in the air and slight smell of ozone as uh, he draws yeah, ten points of energy into himself. Perfect. Um, I will go ahead and move up right against the earthen rampart that I have summoned. Nice. That's my turn. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Broda. Broda, while everybody's prepping uh, for what's ahead of us, he'll probably move up to these runic carvings on the floor and kneel down and maybe try to discern what they are. All right, yeah, give me give me an intelligence roll. Nice, you you do you are able to read them. They are they are runes of Iridrum, you know, an ancient script native to the land, but uh, but you see that they are scratched, um, scratched in deep, not with carving tools, but as if someone scratched them in with their bare fingers. Do they seem to be like a trap triggering type of runes, or if they were trying to scrawl a message? No, it seems to be a message. As you look over the runes and kind of decipher word by word, it reads, Woe to those who dare the Ogdru realm. None pass those who can never die. Hmm. I will relay that message. Okay. And that will be my turn. That will be my turn. Perfect. And it hears you and jerks a thumb over the rampart at those guys. Okay. Well, Grimnar... Your, your party is with you, and you've heard the words uh, interpreted by, by Broda. What do you want to do? Uh, he just, uh, he's going to just say, uh, sounds like dead, dead uns. Uh, he doesn't say undead, he said dead, dead uns instead. Um, <laughs> and he, he walks up to the wall, and it's above his head, and he just sort of shakes his head like, uh, not dwarf size here. And so <laughs> he he has to climb up the wall. <laughs> over the edge uh i guess that's dex right Did no you're good over? no you don't have to okay. roll for that uh he's going to i guess try to get over to the other side and maybe just crouch down okay all right yeah just give me one more that's a dex just to see how stealthy you are nice all right you learned your lesson <laughs> much quieter and he'll just uh have his crossbow out just uh, trained on these guys in case they start moving forward okay excellent okay, that brings us to the end of the round all right we're gonna um, let's bring it back to 11 but no timer these figures remain standing stoic at the end of the tunnel Skrillex so Skrillex has his back up against the outcrop. He says, "Blood on the ground, dead that can't be, that can't be killed, can't be stopped." Well, I guess it's 
it's, it's time for a song, and he's just going to take out that mandolin and just <laughs> quietly, quietly plucking, uh, and just uh, you hear him just giving words of inspiration. Uh, and uh, with this one, he's going to, uh, if successful, grant uh, everyone a D8 boost to one roll. Uh, right. So just quietly uh, reminding them that they're heroes, uh, and this is what they were made for. So play well, my friend. Yes. Uh, and yep, yeah, that's going to be a 14, so that'll work. Very nice. Okay, the target will remain at 11, but everyone has a D8 that they can drop on a roll, on a future roll. Is that to any D20 or any roll? Um, I believe it's any roll. Yeah. Oh, well, at least on my sheet it says any roll. I would say any, any, one roll. any one roll other than like a dying timer. So effort oh, okay. would be okay. An attempt would be okay. But yeah, I don't think we would, we would add them to a to a uh, to a dying yeah, that timer. Makes sense. All good. Okay, perfect. Do you want to move anywhere, Skrillex? No, he's just going to keep his back to the uh, the wall, just playing. Uh, probably has his leg crossed over the other one, uh, trying to remain calm. As long as he's not looking in that direction, he will remain calm. Perfect. All right. That's going to bring us to Sinus. Uh, Sinus bows his head in silent prayer as he presses his palms against a section of the rampart, casts Elemental Beast. Badly. And he's going to uh, add that uh, D8 roll, I guess. Let's see. Come on. Mm. That gets me to what I need, 11, nice, exactly, nice, with nice. my wisdom bonus. Nice. Uh, so I have dropped in the chat, Kane, a token for uh, <coughs> my, my buddy, who's made out of rock. Mm -hmm. And a section of the wall turns into a semi-sentient crease. Uh, uh, creature under my control who has two hearts with the elemental vortex that I put in there. Okay. Nice. So he's nice and chunky. Yes, he is. Okay. The rock forms into this dark beast. Um, he's as dark and and uh, made of the obsidian and and, and quartz. All around him, you even see a few drops of blood as it kind of pulled up with with him as he was formed. But but yes, he stands he stands before you as as a, a kind of a behemoth golem that's doesn't quite fill the the, the cavern. But all right. And uh, for my uh, movement, uh, I will put my hand on the back of the rock creature, urge him slightly forward. I won't take a full near movement, but mm. he'll lead the charge and I'll be at his back. Yeah, for sure. And then just for reference, how I like to run, at least, you know, in my, my home games, when it comes to, like, extra creatures, familiars, whatever, um, on your turn, you can take a turn with your familiar, in this case your beast, or your, your player. Um, I would be fine with a movement for both, but action-wise, it's one or the other. I'm fine with that. Okay. All right. Again, they st they remain stoic. Rhoda. Um. First, all I could think of when you were forming your your elemental beast there was like. Transformer noise of it coming out of the wall. <laughs> and then since the blood stained and whatnot, like all I could think of is like this spot of blood like over one of his eyes and he's So Broda's gonna call him Spot. <laughs> he's like, Let's go, Spot. I'll back you up. Then he's just gonna move up and be at the ready, but he's not gonna swing first. Alright. Creatures from the descent are here. He'll he'll protect the big elemental beast. <laughs> okay. As you step forward, use your inching and inching, you can you can start to hear the crunch of ancient leather as their grip slowly tightens around the the handles of their axe and their swords. And the crunch of the stone beneath their feet as they plant themselves deeper into the stone. 
Grimnar. Uh, hearing that sound triggers something in his brain, and it uh, immediately turns into anger. Uh, he kind of like goes underneath, the, kind of in between the the legs of the rock column here, <laughs> and like takes cover, and he just like knocks a crossbow bolt and just like fires at this first one. Okay. Nice. Uh, right. Oh. <laughs> okay, you do have a hero coin if you want to reroll that. I I will burn it on that for sure. Okay. Otherwise, oh, oh yes. what a nice. use! Love averages. Law of averages. Very well. I do, I do have a thing where it's if it's fifteen plus, I get an extra shot. Too, Perfect. So. so yeah, roll roll the first attack, and then we'll roll damage for however many attacks. You get. <laughs> okay, so this is a okay. Second. Oh my god. Okay, you got two. You got two criticals. Roll it. Roll another attack. That's awesome. Oh, does it keep going? It keeps going. I thought it was just one. Dane okay. him. Dane him. There right. it goes. There Let's it see. is. Okay, give me two attacks, both ultimate. So roll your your normal damage effort and then add D12, one to each. Okay, so this is plus two. This, so six and 12. So add, roll a D12. But you, oh, okay. Yeah, that was the second D10. So that's plus two as well. So six and so uh, thirteen. Seven, so thirteen. Thirteen on the first attack, and then how much on the second attack? Uh, six and. Whew. Four, nice. Fourteen. Jeez. So six and fourteen. That's another twenty. So you you dealt. You have a thirteen and a twenty. Are you attacking the same one, or are you attacking uh, both? I would probably split them up. So like thirteen to this guy, the first guy, and. Yeah, the other amount to the, the second one. Okay, wait. So your crossbows hit true, right to the face, but they ha they receive no reaction. Hmm. Oh. That's disappointing. They just you just see them land, and they just remain there as they quiver. Are these biological creatures. Yes. Okay. As you've now gotten closer, you do see that they are covered in these runes, you know, that scar their entire body. Good. These dead uns. All right. That brings it to me. With the attack, they step heavy steps forward okay and stop there Broda being the closest they're going to receive two attacks one two one hits for eight and the other hits for thirteen so both misses oh nice okay, okay. Broda uh, give me a hard strength <laughs> strength roll. I'm assuming you make it because thirteen. Yep. So they, after swinging at you with their with their their hand, one of them reaches out to your neck and attempts to strangle you, but you're able to pry open their fingers um, and slip away. But again, these two block your path. It will be difficult to get past them with any attempts of dexterity. But that brings us to you, Skrillex. Actually, um... I would have only rolled a 13. Hard would be 14, wouldn't it? Um, yes. It's okay if if we miss that by one. We'll we'll just we'll leave it. Okay. Yep. Just trying to be honest. No, appreciate it. If you don't have a hero coin, take one. 
but it is your turn. And then you're you are muted. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna say we can't hear you still yeah. you're saying something. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, I was I was trying to save you from my cough. <laughs> so hearing hearing the disappointment on uh, you know that uh, from Grimnar. Uh, Skrillex would have played one one last note that didn't sound very nice uh, and uh, strap the mandolin into his back uh, and step up on the outcrop uh, and he suddenly has an idea and he says uh, guardians no reason for the hostilities uh, we we have arrived the newest Ogdru cultists please give us pass I said, "Give us pass." <laughs> All right, give me, give me a char uh, charisma roll. That is a twelve. So, your words do, you know, inspire, but garner no, no heed from these, um, from these two beings. All right, then he's going to, from this elevated position take out his bow and say um, he's going to start looking for uh, anything that he can possibly fire at above them to uh, cause them either some distraction distress or um, but I, I think I've already taken my action to try to yeah. convince them so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that for my next turn so yeah. he's looking for spots yeah we'll we'll say that there is a uh, a stalactite that you could potentially attack. If you could do a heart worth of effort, you might be able to drop one. Okay. Oh, I like that. All right. It's my turn. Perfect. All right, Sinus. Uh, Sinus. Uh, so you said that if I take an action, I, I can still command the beast to move. Is that correct? Yeah. So you you can still move, but yeah, one of you gets an action. Understood. Um. Well, he's gonna. Uh, just command the beast to sort of interpose himself between Crota and the uh, guardian creatures and Dennis uh, is going to try to cast elemental beast again okay Bazinga and uh, ten pointer we'll call him junior he shows up nice okay and we'll say that that expends the ball work behind you Okay, fair enough. Does that mean Skrillex falls down? <laughs> <laughs> he was standing on it. <laughs> or does that mean he get? Or does that mean he gets the ride? <laughs> you could. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I transformed the bulwark right underneath you, and uh, yeah, you you can nimbly hop down or stay on his shoulders, whatever you like. Uh, Skrillex wobbles a little bit and unsure of what's happening, and then just steps off. Steps off. Nice. <laughs> well done. I'm glad All right. you're on my side. Okay. Broda. Broda, while stepping up, uh, for some reason he'll uh, he'll say the words "bola." which is mm -hmm. elvish for friend. Uh, and if they don't seem to yield, then he'll go ahead. And while keeping spot in the lead, like he mm -hmm. understands what what Sinus is trying to do now, and, you know, better some beasts take a hit than him, he's going to, you know, kind of pummel the guy at... I mean, are they about at the same, like... Like side by side, yeah, that's yeah. Okay, so he'll pummel the guy at twenty. Okay. Whew. Mm. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that. Uh, and so he's going to. Uh, that's eight. Mm hmm. Another twenty. Nice. All, all together. Nice. Okay. Okay, he takes another 20 points of damage. He's still standing, but with that critical punch, 
um, what I'm going to say is you hit him hard enough that he kind of steps to the side or, you know, kind of makes a way. For the next round, an, a, a dex attempt to get past them will be normal instead of hard. Ooh. Okay. Uh, does that mean I can take my movement and get past them? Yeah, give me a dex. Normal, get normal dex. And I can make it easy because of my last crit of oh, dex. Oh yeah, that's true. Nice. And I failed it anyway. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna stand here. Okay. You have a you have that eight that d eight. I don't know if you've used that roll. Nah, I'll, I'll save it for something big. Sounds good. Like you know, extra punching power. <laughs> I don't know. Get getting by might be big. N- nah, I'm okay. I'm okay with pummeling. <laughs> you got, it. I got you, I got you. All yeah. right. So hey. he'll still stay. He's still here. Then I only kind of screwed him forward to if he was going to go past. Okay. But no, he's keeping. He was keeping spot between him and the guys, like Sinus was trying to do. All right, uh, Grimnar, you see an opening. Broda hit hard enough. They slam into the wall to the side. You see a gap. But what do you do? Uh, how far is it to the doorway? Uh, just a normal movement. Okay. He's going to look back, uh, back at uh, Sinus and, and just kind of chuckle and just say, uh, time to thread the needle. And so he just kind of winds up a bit and then jumps and slides through uh, nice. Gollum's legs and just runs for nice. the door. Okay, give me that, our, dex, that dex roll. Our dexterous Come dwarf. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. yeah. <laughs> And since that's a normal move, can I kind of turn around and just fire on this guy? Sure. Okay, I'm going to do that. Ooh. Mm. First, uh, okay, so it's just uh, 9 or uh, 11. Nice. <coughs> and he just shakes his head. If it's still standing, he just, uh, like, not yeah. believing it. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Uh, okay. This one steps forward towards Grimnar. This one steps towards uh, Spot. Um, would you consider... So, Sinus, would, is there a defense score for your beast? Or because he's so large, would it just be an auto hit? I would just consider it flat rolls against the target if it were me. Okay. That hits. He does 10 points of damage to spot. And then he's going to bash with his shield. Which hits. And it does 7 more points of damage. Okay. And then everybody who's behind spot, this thing is thrown back. Everyone give me a dex a dex roll to avoid as spot is thrown down the corridor. Uh, I am flattened by my own creation. Okay, everybody I'm who... going to use a hero coin. Okay. Yep, everyone who eventually does not make it takes five points of damage as spot. Can I right. give uh, Sinus my hero coin? Sure. Hi, uh, thank you. Um, I will add the twelve. I think Watch that's out. slightly better. Slightly better odds. And thank you for the hero coin. Uh, with my dex bonus of one, that gets me there. Very Thanks. nice. Thank okay. you very much for that save. Yes, that was awesome. All right, and this one is going to attack uh, Grimnar with an eleven, which does not hit. Okay. And then he is going to attempt to strangle um, Grimnar. Grimnar, give me a hard strength roll. Do it. Nope. <clears throat> oh, actually, I got a plus three strength, so it's uh, 11. Yeah. I think it just hit. It just made it. Yep. yep you, so it's a hard strength roll. Oh, shoot. Hard, that's okay, right. yeah. Yep. Okay. Use your D8. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Just don't roll a one. 
There it is. Nice. You you get nice. close. He he grasps you and begins to lift you up, and you feel his fingers driving into your neck. But you're able to suddenly push free and avoid taking some damage. Excellent. It's nice to have a thick beard around your neck. Mm -hmm. Hides it. Yeah. Hides where your <laughs> neck is. <laughs> All right. Skrillex. It's up to you. Uh, do we notice if? Uh... This guardian seems to be able to get through that threshold, or he maybe he just stops by. You haven't I seen it yet. There's been no no attempts to get past yet. All right, he's still holding to his plan. Then he wants to uh, the the guardian that's closest. He wants to try to um, launch an arrow at the stones above to see if he can somehow pin him. Uh -huh. if he can shoot well enough. So he's going to go ahead and um, what what are we calling little spot here? Junior. He's going to use Junior as uh, cover, uh, and uh, he's going to just say, pardon me, launch an arrow above the the Guardian. Nice, that hits. Uh, so should be a hit, So and then I just get to roll basic, right? Yep. Well, with your, with your weapon, it's a tool, so weapon effort. Okay, so I get a plus two there, so seven. Okay, that stone is beginning to crack. Very well done. Do you want to move? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold there, and uh, if Junior moves, if I could be allowed to um, kind of move with him, I'm trying to trying to stay right behind him. Okay, that's fine. Thank All you, right. Stone Friend. <laughs> okay, Sinus. Uh, was Spot pushed back near? Is that correct? He's pushed back technically far, but because of how big he is, he's, he's so yeah. We'll say near. So he. he uh, can he get to uh, the guardian with thirteen? Um, yeah, we could say that. Okay. Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, set up uh, in I formation here. Uh, make after a no no huddle. Uh, <laughs> I send the beast forward. Uh, Spot goes forward and tries to grapple that guardian. Junior runs up and tries to grapple the heavily hit guardian okay and uh with my movement i'm going to try to split the defense and run forward is the plan okay called an audible so if you can succeed in grappling both of them it will be an easy dex so um it's a strength roll with these guys i don't know if they have bonuses so let's just i, I just assume that they're flat, flat. bonuses yeah. for everything Okay, these guys have a plus five, so first one on so spot and the thirteen. You've got to beat a twenty three. Nice. Oh, never mind. So no go there. And then with Junior and the guy with fifty one, you've got to beat a thirteen. Nothing. Alright, so give me a normal a normal dex roll. Okay, I'm plus one on dex. Whew. There we go. You are able to make it though. Cool. Nice hand signals, and I, I can move up to about here, correct? Yep. Following along with Junior. Yep. Okay, excellent. Right, thank you. That's my turn. Perfect. Okay, Broda, you've seen Junior and Spot attempt to distract. Sinus rushes by. Grimnar is on the other side on the threshold. What do you want to do? Being the first uh, back. Broda will probably uh, take a take a run for it. I don't think these guys will really stop. We've kind of pummeled uh, the one with the hat for a lot. I don't see him backing down it. So here's his dex to get through, which he does. Very nice. nice. Uh, with his action, he's going to chuck his last rock at the stalactite. Nice. And he'll hit. hit. Nice. Uh, my minimum's eight damage, so it's gonna fall. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. The stalactite falls on this one here, and he's going to be stunned for a round. Four. Nice hit. Well done. Yes. Well done. Good use. Good use of the environment. Take a hero coin for finishing that off. Well done. Okay. I like those. They're useful. <laughs> good job, both of you guys. Perfect. 
Well, Grimnar, it's up to you. Skrillex is the only one um, on the other side of these these abominations. Um, what do you want to do? There um, is a set of stairs leading down uh, as you look with Sinus and Broda. Yeah, I think he's going to rush forward and like just kind of be down on the stairs and then turn his crossbow and train it on, on the doorway. Okay. Are you firing? Uh, no. I'm just okay. going to just uh, kind of hold my action, I guess, with that. So. Okay. Perfect. All right, that brings us to me. Um, so this guy is stunned, so this is the only one. He's going to turn and spend an action attacking uh, Junior. And he hits. With 14 points of damage, he just slashes with his broken we broken axe just straight through Junior, and he crumbles. Don't mind me. Okay. He's going to roll a Skull Die. Skull, he goes for Skrillex. Blank, he goes for the, re for the rest of the group goes for the rest of the group as he steps forward he's going to <coughs> he's going to attack Sinus with another swipe of his great axe and that is a 13 and that is a miss I'm good Ooh. okay all right that's gonna bring us to Skrillex all right seeing everyone uh, make it through the threshold uh, and with this one's back to him, Skrillex, Skrillex is going to try to, um, uh, I don't think I can do this all in one turn. Um, do I get the sense that Junior is going to, uh, keep following? He's obviously going to stick with Sinus, right? Yeah. If I whistle for him, he'll come. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to try to... Skrillex is going to try to get to this threshold and uh, see if there's anything that can be uh, knocked down, if there's anything that can be shut, if there's anything that can seal this passageway. Okay. Um, give me... Give me a d6 roll. Three, four, uh, four, five, six, there is something. One, two, three, there's nothing. Okay. No. Nope. Seeing nothing... Seeing nothing in the uh, doorway, he's just going to try to uh, slip through the passageway here and try to get by this large guardian. Uh, and he is uh, going to hold up his bow uh, and see if he can launch his next shot at some kind of weak point. He's still trying to figure out if there is one. He's not sure that there is. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's going to try to get by him okay. and get around to the other side of Sinus. Okay, make an easy dex. Yep, that's a 16. Nice. Yeah, nice. You, join, you join the others. All right, he's got his bow trained on the Guardian, trying to look for some kind of either eye socket, something that okay. can be yeah, give me a, Give me a wisdom roll. Uh, I don't see anything. Yeah, all you see is as you look closer, this thing. Um, you see the remnants of old arrows, wounds, and everything like beyond what you imagine uh, someone mortal could could withstand. I think we need to get out of here, friends. If I'm ever going to write our song. Agreed. Okay. Sinus, at the top of the stairs, you, you begin to see this large stairwell leading down into this massive cave. At the base, you, you, you get, as you kind of come around the spirals, you see this large pool. Um, this room is going to take, so it's near to get to the bottom here, near to get to here, so and near to get to, from one side to the other. So about three rounds. Of just of action and move. But if you do a dash, you would do it in one and a half, essentially. Okay. Okay. Uh, if it's my turn, I will whistle for a spot to follow. I will attempt to cast a regeneration on myself. Okay. Bazinga. Nice. And I will 
near move to the bottom of the stairs. Okay. And that's my turn. This the six on the um, on the icon is uh, is a separate target. I mean a timer. Yep. So I'm going to roll those real quick now that you enter the room. So for the six, you get this is going to be a three, and then this is going to remain a two. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. And then that's going to bring us to Broda. You see Sinus rushing down the stairs as you enter into this large cavern. Alright, uh, Berta will try to... Can I can I regenerate on spot? Um... I don't know how you do summon. Yeah, I think with the nature of him being a golem, um, and the, the regeneration being more about, like, like life-given, um, we'll say probably not. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Then I won't do that. <laughs> um... Good idea, though. He will come down here and so the black is like a, a pool of liquid of sorts a lake yes it's a dark Ooh. lake and you can you can see a little bit into it you can see a few shiny things in the, in the base but you, you're not quite sure how deep it goes and you can see a few things like it seems like a few things are moving in it but with how dark it is it's it's hard to see especially once you get light reflecting off the surface Okay, and is this under or seem to be sitting on it top is, of it? It is under. You see something <sighs> something incredibly shiny. Um, well, he'll probably kind of lean to the side and back towards Sinus. He's like, and like nod towards whatever it is there. And his turn, he's like, that's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for his action... need agreement. <laughs> For his action, I'll hook his his finger around his his cigar and to pull in a and uh, basically, even though I don't need to do it, you'll do a recovery. Okay, so just a con check against the target. He misses, even though he doesn't need it. So okay, fine. all right. But he was just kind of like. Battle, take a moment to kind of just like steady the nerves. Okay. Grimnar, you're at the top with Skrillex in, in spot. The figure uh, stands behind you as well. Yeah, seeing half the party take off down the stairs, he's going to do the same. Uh, he just like puts his crossbow on his back and just puffs it down okay and he's gonna go a little bit further just take his full action just to move okay that's gonna get you all the way halfway across oh, wow. okay so yeah you do see as you get closer you see this these this pile of treasure um, dropped dropped items and loot from past adventurers many things you could tell are quite uh, quite valuable or potentially even powerful but they slow they lie at the beneath the wet, the water. What a tease. Okay. <laughs> All right, for me the timer is going to drop from 3 to 1, 3 to 2. This will drop from 2 to 1 and our in, our invincible here will step forward against spot uh against yeah, spot. With an Get eight, down, stone friend. With an 18. We'll slash with 8. Oh. And he fell. Okay. Alright, and then he's going to shield bash. With a 16. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Sinus and Broda, give me a dex roll. That, uh, that actually, he... That seventeen was the damage you had. Yeah, done he should be. Already. He should be gone. He's dead. Oh, he was you dead. Obliterated oh. him. Yeah. So I might have to roll, just from getting smashed with rock. Nah, you're good. Okay. Okay. And then he steps forward against uh, against Skrillex, but he's he's already spent. 
All right. Father. Okay, Felix screw. is going to nod his head and kind of give him a little two fingers off the brow and say, it has been charming, and I will remember you in my next <laughs> adventure, but uh, say la vie. And he's going to run as fast as he can to get away from that bull. Okay. Uh, and he, uh, coming down the steps, he sees this dark pool, uh, and he, he believes he notices something uh, moving, and he wants to get a uh, try to take a better look to see if he can uh, see what it was. Okay. Give me uh, wisdom. Uh, that is a straight 11, so I do not quite know what I'm looking at. Yep. Let me make sure that's correct. Yeah, that's just a yeah. straight 11. But you do see these, these things swimming beneath the waves. Not quite sure what they are. Friends, I, I don't feel like a swim. Any of you? No. That's my turn. Okay. All right, Sinus. Uh, Sinus feels uh, that spark of sunlight in his chest and heals up to full hit points and uh, gauges the distance to whatever that object is mm -hmm. and tries to cast uh, Elemental Earth to see if he can raise a rampart that will either bridge out to it or lift it up and that is a fail that's oh. my turn uh, take my that hero coin yeah well played uh, I will do a straight what do I gotta get a 12 I do a straight reroll not the uh, dice have spoken I thank uh, you for that coin thank you nice. for the coin I just, it my, I just uh -huh. wanted to lose nice well, you can, you with your movement, you can get to where Grimnar is, if you wish. Um, I'm going to stay here, because if I get to do it again, it'll be easy. Okay. That's you still, impossible. You can, you can still move and still get easy next turn. Yeah. Yes, but it's a ranged spell, so I have to be in a particular place in order to put the wall where it needs to be. Mm. Oh, okay. You have to be so far away. I gotcha. Okay. Well, in preparation for that, I see what uh, Sinus is trying to do. So Brodo will move towards where Grimnar is. Maybe even make a joke to where he kind of like grabs Skrillex's cape, I'm assuming, or the back of his jerkin or something, and be like, don't fall in! As he runs by. <laughs> Gonna shove him. No, not shove him, but like kind of pulling, <laughs> pulling back, but it's movement near the edge. Um, and uh, I guess in preparation for what Sinus will be doing, I will take a peek to see what's swimming around in there. Okay. Because I don't think there's like a you know, prep myself to give me an easy jump forward next turn mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay. Give, so, me, give me wisdom. Uh, uh, okay. That is... Actually, I want to use my D8. Okay. Because I am, like, two away. Okay. There. Nice. So I succeed. What is swimming around in there? You see these creatures, these spiny, tentacled creatures swimming up closer and closer to you as if they're they're stalking you from beneath the water. You see three of them. I didn't really need to know that. <laughs> okay, but your, um, sa your saves your saves next round will be easy. Okay. Knowledge is power. I will let everyone else know that they're things. Okay. Thought I thought I saw something. <laughs> All right. Um. Perfect. That's gonna bring us to Grimnar. Shoot a dwarf. Shoot him. Yeah. So like seeing that, like he can see these things now that uh, Broda has brought that to our attention. Yes. All right, and they're probably like pretty close to the edge. Yes, they're they're definitely stalking you. All right. So he just. Uh, just stand back, Broda, and like 
pulls out this thump gun uh, that's like basically a shotgun and like he terminator loads it and like shoots it into the water okay that's a uh, 15 nice and I think that says it does double gun effort to near targets okay and you should be able to get another attack you got chain them together yeah. uh, that's the other attack Nope. Yeah, roll damage on that first one. Well, all, all of them. On all of them? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's all near targets. Nice. Oh, wow. take, a, take a hero coin for that one as you just blast them in the water. The, the water awesome. starts getting agitated and it starts to fill with this inky, inky blood. They can... Dis, you know, it's now harder to see that that treasure through their blood. Wouldn't step in there now, buddy. Okay, well done. All right. He'll probably he'll probably make it make a move to to kind of over here. Okay. Perfect. Um, this timer is going to drop from one to zero, um, and then you guys have already dealt with the with the with the creatures at your area, but. Um, Apologize for that. I looked. Let's see. But we have four that burst out of the water after hearing the shot at you guys. Poor Skrillex. Okay, two on Skrillex, two on Sinus. Um, they're gonna each are going to lash at you. So, first one on Sinus, that is a 15, which is not a hit, and the second yes. one is on Skrillex. That is a 14, which is your target number. Ties, yep. ties will go to the... Do, uh, tie, yeah, ties go to the player. My book. Oh, nice. Um, and then what they're going to do is they're going to try to water spine against Sinus. Nope, completely miss. And then Skrillex, give me a uh, con save. Connor strength, yeah. Uh, neither one is going to work. Um, let me see if I have anything. Nope, I don't have anything. Okay. All right. As your doc, when, when, yeah. when I when I when I when I see the the attack, what do I see happen? Because water spine sounds terrifying. So the first one is that one of them reaches out and tries to like slash at you with its with its tentacles and its claws, but then after while that one's busy, another one like shoots out a spine from their back, um, just at you. And all of a sudden, in the stone next to your head, you see this thing just dig itself deep into the uh, into the into the rock. Um, Good to know. That super sucks. Okay. Okay. And again, they slash at Skrillex, but they miss. But another one wraps its tentacles around his legs, and all of a sudden, you see Skrillex drop and pulled into the water. <laughs> You're going to take one point of damage, but you are now in the water. You're going to have to make a con roll um, every round, and you'll be taking we'll weapon damage. You'll take D6. If you fail two, uh, two rounds, you will begin drowning. Okay, so, right, he's... so you'll need to make, you'll need to succeed in your next, in your next one, or you'll begin drowning. Okay. Okay. I'm up. You're up. All right, Skrillex is uh, scrambling, trying to pull free, uh, trying to grasp for air as well as he can. Uh, that's going to be oh, an 11. Uh, so, so not quite there. Not Just quite there. It. Okay. So you haven't broken free yet. And since I failed, I take a D6, right? Yep. Do you still have that extra D8 you gave everybody? I I don't get to give it to myself, I don't think. Yeah. Isn't it yeah. all allies? You're your own ally. Yeah. Uh, if you, yeah, if you yeah go for it. Have it all. Go for it. All right. So that I just need a one. So that'll that'll do it. I'll go ahead and roll it anyway. I was gonna say we can regenerate or we can use regeneration on us, and it says give it to an ally. Sounds good to me. Yep. 
All right. Okay. So uh, I just managed to breach the surface and get a uh, just a gulp of air, yelling out to Sinus, you know, splattering water. Uh, friend, help me! Roberto, yell, uh, Sinus. Work on what you got. I'll get the elf. Okay. Uh, my turn. Yes. Yikes! This is rough. Um, <laughs> I can still see uh, the top of Skrillex's head uh, just above the the surface and within reach. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Uh, I may not be able to grab him, especially because I only have a one strength bonus, but I have a three wisdom bonus. So I'm going to try to cast regeneration on him. Okay. Just in case he goes underneath. Ha <laughs> Oof. And that is an epic fail. Uh, okay. I got a hero coin. You can have it. Uh, thank you. I would like. To, I'm very grateful. I'd like to re-roll that. And that is not an epic fail. That's exactly what I need. So he will get uh, D8 on his next uh, four rounds as he possibly slips below the surface. Perfect. Kane, don't make him move. He's not allowed down here. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, he's he's coming. No lie. No lie. Uh, last question, environmental question. Is this essentially a round pool yeah. or is it long and skinny? If it's uh, round, okay, go ahead. You said no, yeah. Just, but yeah, I'm, it's 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 kind of round. There's a beach on each side, but it's also long and skinny because of the hell like the length of the room. But, okay, then I will take the benefit of the doubt on the Porsche. Now, actually, you know what? I need to stay by Skrillex. Never mind. I'm gonna sit right here. Okay. All right, Broda. Thank you. Broda, you see Grimnar rush ahead. <laughs> you hear the scuffling of Sinus and Skrillex, and you hear the stomping of the Invincible coming down the stairs. You're caught between two choices. Do you go towards the danger, or do you continue on with Grimnar deeper into the Oh, he, he had already cowled out. He's going to help the elf. Okay. So he's running, sprinting as much as he could, and then he'll kind of like dive down, like and slide on his hip over and go to reach for a hand to pull Skrillex up out of the water. Okay, give me nice. a give me a strength roll to try to pull him free. <laughs> okay, but now you're in the water with with him. You're not drowning or getting pulled in, but yeah. Okay. All right. I got you. I got you. He's still going to try to reach for him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Grimnar. Uh, Grimnar running kind of realizes he's all by himself and kind of looks around behind him and he's like, uh, <laughs> and kind of grumbles to himself and just starts running back. <laughs> Grimnar doesn't come back because it's the right thing to do. Grimnar comes back because he doesn't want to be by himself. <laughs> <laughs> so with a full dash, you can get to them, but you wouldn't have an action. If you go to the middle, um, you can get an action. I'll go to the middle and I'll just I'll try to shoot them with a crossbow in okay. here. I know they're under the surface, so yeah, it's gonna be hard. Good. Yep, good call. I'll try that, and it does not. Okay. Connect. Good. A one would have hit the other people, but you miss. Yeah, that's, I was waiting for the one. I would have been like, same team! Same team! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a win. Uh, that's my turn. Sorry, guys. No worries. No, you rock. All right, timer's going to drop from two to one. You hear all the commo commotion. Grimnar being a dwarf, you look up and you see that some of the stalactites are unstable. And the noise is causing them to start to crack and you see pebbles dropping. You fear that one might drop any moment. Oh, the in no the invincible moves down. He does not take an action as he just reaches you. Okay. All right. We've got one who's going to go after Sinus. We've got one who's going to go after Broda, um, and two that are dragging uh, Skrillex down beneath the water. So first one on Sinus. We're going to do another spine. Oh no. That is a sixteen. Ties that is the player. Uh, exactly Ooh. my target. Nice. All right. Um, with uh, with Broda, Broda, give me a con or strength roll. 
We're going to go with strength because they have a plus. All right. They nice. they they attempt to start pulling you in as well, but um, but but they you're able to resist. Okay. Um, Skrillex, give me give me a con roll. Kicking, screaming. You, yeah, you can, you can either. Yeah, there you go. All, All right. right. Uh, the, the last one is you're going to give me a contested strength roll against a 16. If you can beat it, you are free. Otherwise, you're going to get continued dragging. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> All right. So I get a little bit of air, and then I try to kick free, and they just lash on stronger. Okay. Your next, your next, uh, your next round will be hard as you try to escape, and they pull you deeper under the water. Okay. Uh, that's it for for me, Skrillex. Oh, do I? Oh, I get a turn. Heal. Okay. Heal first. Okay, so I get to roll a D8 for my regen. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, I didn't take any damage. That was I. No, you're to gonna you're gonna take a damage right now. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll my heal first. So that's a two. Okay, and then give me a hard con roll. All right, and I'm going to take five damage, so three damage. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. So you make it negate that damage. You don't. You don't take d6 because you're you're able to catch that breath and hold your breath. All right. So I'm still pulling, still fighting. I'd like to think that Skrillex is most upset about his instrument getting wet right now, mm -hmm. uh, and that is what's keeping him back to the surface. Okay. Uh, and he, if he could, he would try to grab it off his back and hand it to one of his allies. But <laughs> he, he's too busy trying to push these things off of his legs. All right. Well, so the con roll is for your breath um, getting drowned. Give me a hard strength break free. Okay. Come on. Nope. Didn't roll. Huh. Oh, yes. This. Yes. Perfect. Your, ma your mandolin gets into Broda's fingers, and you're just able to pull pull yourself out of out of the water spitting up spitting up all that ink that that fluid but you're able to get free <laughs> i didn't want to go swimming brother would definitely be like helping him out of the water mm -hmm. you know pulling him up you know hands grasped ready to punch any of these things that come up no means no <laughs> dwarf get over here with that gun again <laughs> Hey, excellent. Uh, keep it down, it's gonna blow to, or the ceiling's crumbling. Alright. Uh Sinus. Skrillex is free, he's uh, out of the water for now. With his companions not sinking anymore, he's gonna take advantage of the relative roundness of this uh area and move to a point here that with the foreshortening is still mm -hmm. near distance away. Yep. From that loot item, and I'm gonna try to cast Elemental Earth. Come Bazinga. on. Zinga. Oh. <laughs> oh no. The dice is <laughs> slower. Okay. Do you have anything to negate that? A fizzle. A fizzle. No, pure fizzle. All right. So you're gonna we're gonna enact spell burn for that spell. Give me a D4. Okay, for three rounds, you just cannot connect with that spell. Understood. Yikes. That's my turn. All right. All right, Broda. You and Skrillex are in the middle of things. Am I able to pick him up as an action? Uh, give me a strength like roll, yeah. And then you can, you won't be able to dash, but you can move him with a successful strength roll. Yeah, I just kind of want to move us both over, like, to here if I can. Yeah, go for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Slippery. It is slippery. Water. Yeah. Do you um, have a coin? No, I spent... I gave it to... Sinus. Uh, well, if that's the case, I'll use my move action... To maybe bar the way from the invulnerable. <laughs> All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, run it. Get out of there. Well, everybody's, he's not... everybody's hollering for you. 
Well, he's not gonna leave Skrillex because <laughs> Skrillex isn't gonna have five enemies on him. No, I'd you're like. Right. To I'd like to think he tried to pick Skrillex up, but he put the mandolin down, so Skrillex slithered out of his hands to try to pick up his instrument. <laughs> yeah, and so, like, Broda just kind of steps up to the to the stairs, seeing the invulnerable coming down, and he's, you know, Stogie's gone because it got drenched by the water. He spits to the side and cracks his knuckles, and he just squares up, shield ready to go in front of him, ready to start going at it okay dwarf <laughs> need some help all right all that's, right that's very nice um all right timer is gonna drop from one to zero the noise and everything causes wait a... wait it's grimnar's oh it's grimnar's sorry. turn yeah sorry uh grimnar looks very nervous up at the ceiling as well as at this uh you know, undead thing, and he, you know, trained his crossbow on this area. I guess it'd be an easier shot mm -hmm. this time because I tried last time. So yes, and that would be a fourteen. Perfect. Okay, you hit one. Does uh, eight points of damage. You take you take one down. Well done. You want to move anywhere? Uh, he's gonna stay put, I think. All right. Okay. So the noise of everything causes one of the stalagmites to break. So do you see how the map is broken into three segments? One, yes. two, three. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. roll a d6. On a one, two, it's the first one. Three, four, five, six. Uh, oh boy. And anyone who is in that segment. It's going to take 3d12 points of damage. If you make a successful um, dex or defense roll, you will half the damage. But let's see where it falls. So you guys are hoping for 5 and 6. There oh, it is. Oh, thankfully. Nice. Okay. Does it fall into the water then? Just basically. Just this massive stalagmite boulder just f crashes. Okay, we're gonna roll a d4 again. You see more. Uh, oh no! It's now gonna be a 50-50 between these two. All right, Grimnar being there, um, as well as we're gonna roll another timer for something else in the water. All right, and then these guys. This guy's gonna come up. He's going to attack Broda, misses, and then he's gonna try to bash him, and misses. Nice. Okay, and then these guys are going to do weapon slash a spine on uh, Skrillex. God. So weapon slash, that is a nine. Nope. And that is a eleven, which is a miss. Yeah. All right, and then let's do one more slash at Skrillex. Nope, they they the noise of the the slagmite has thrown them off. Their senses are overloaded, um, so they fail. You have a moment. Skrillex, your turn. Fish things. He picks up his mandolin in disgust. It's at the water, and uh, he is going to, um, as wet as his instrument is, he's still going to try to weakly uh, strum a quiet song, uh, and he's going to kind of turn as he runs away from his friend. He says, follow me. Our tale doesn't end here. Uh, and he's going to start singing a new song. And nice. with a successful roll, that should give us a lower target by two. Uh, oh, yes. Very nice. Okay, so as wet as the mandolin is, it, it somehow even sounds better right now. Yeah, it's kind of got this eerie resonance with it. Uh, but you're going to have the target is going to be at 10 for the next two rounds in this room. Thanks for that critical yeah. roll. We're I don't want to. What was that? We are going to need that when the stalagmites <laughs> fall. <laughs> I don't want to move too far from. Uh, I think I'm just going to hold here in case. He'd, he'd tell you to go. Like, okay. Broda's like, I got. I'll be right behind you. All right. Well, I'm going to still keep. I'm still keeping my. I'm playing with my. Uh, 
my back turned to nice. Sinus watching. Okay. Yeah, he's right, running. My turn. He's running and water is pouring out of the holes in the, yep. the mandolin. <laughs> but, yep, Sinus. Skr Skrillex is able to join you, but Broda is now surrounded. Um. That's not good for Broda. Hmm. Uh, I can still see Broda, correct? Of course, yes. Uh, I'm going to try to cast Holy Bulwark on him. All right. And that's a fail. Oh, uh, with my movement, I will get as far as I can. So you can, yep, you can, there yeah, you the can get to there or all the way to the door, pretty much. I'll go to the door, and uh, I call out, hoping that he's okay, but mad that I couldn't do anything to help. And I yell to Broda, I said, Broda, as my old friend Snark used to say, Adventurers, we are leaving! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know that reference. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, that's going to bring us to Broda. Uh, Broda's going to bolt. So with a dash, but you can get then... all the way to Sinus, or move and heck, take an action with the others. But he's going to then dive into the water. Oh, nice. <laughs> hey. Hands first. And go right. straight down and for my action. Like a right. bot. O open it up. So Friend, you need, no. The so, you, this way. so you need to make a hard con roll to swim down to the bottom and then you'll be at the bottom for the start of your tr next turn. Come on. Hard con roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, give me a D4 roll to what? Uh, a one. That's going to be ancient. Okay, give me D100. Let's do it. 78. Gem it's... of Doom Vault Destruction. <laughs> <laughs> you find a weapon kit lo locked away. You can apply it to one weapon. It gives you plus two to that weapon's effort. Nice. Okay, but you're at the bottom of the water. Okay. All right, Grimnar, your friend is below. You don't know exactly what's happening beneath the waves, but Sinus is ahead. Skrillex is behind. The uh, you fear more stalagmites are falling. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? Kind of grumpily, just huh. and like seeing his buddy jump in the water again, and then. Uh, he's gonna fire another shot on one of these guys and then run okay. to the doorway. Go for it. Uh, does not do anything, and then he just runs. All right, you guys are gonna be able to start if you wish in the next room. Perfect. Uh, my turn. Okay. Do I have any cover? Is there any possibility that I can uh, mitigate some of the damage if uh, some stones fall my way? Um. Well, like you, you'll just you'll just have to make that dex roll, and then you can mitigate it by cutting it in half. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to be a one, two, three in the first section, and a four, five, six in the second section. Whew, oh. Four, five, six. Okay. A stone falls. Both of you, give me a, a dex roll to cut the damage Ooh. in half. Ah, no luck. So okay, Skrillex that is, is still... that is twelve points of damage. If you made it, you took take half that. I did not. So Skrillex is still staring back at the invincible. Thought I said my goodbyes, friend. Wasn't even looking up, and just took a couple of these stones right to the top of the head. I'm down. Okay. But still under regeneration for one more turn, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you're right. So I he will it. pop up at the beginning of his next turn. Yes. With, with, uh, with one, HP. With whatever you, with whatever you roll on D8. Okay, gotcha. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna want it. They're gonna do two slashes at you. So one, two. That is a twenty-three and a seventeen, because they get plus four in the water. 
Alright. So they get two slashes on Broda. One, two. That is nine points of damage. And then the other one. Give me a hard a hard uh, con or strength roll. Come on, baby. Uh, I, I'll fail it because I'm already down. I only had four health left. Okay. Mm. Alright. You are down. Under the water. Whatever you roll on the diving timer, reduce it by one. To a minimum of one. Okay. That's going to bring us back to Skrillex. Give me a D8 for to pop back up. Let's go. Four. Alright. You're up. You have four hit points. You have a ch The Invincible is coming your way. Broda is still nowhere to be seen, but the others are at the doorway. What do you do? Okay, so... Um... My friend, I, I saw him dive into the water. I just said I wasn't going to get wet anymore, uh, but I have to I have to try to help my friend. So I am going to uh, set my mandolin down uh, oh so carefully and kind of look to the invincible. If he smashes my mandolin, I'm going to rip him in half. <laughs> uh, and I dive into the water <laughs> to, to try to pull out uh, Broda. Okay, give me a hard con roll to swim down. Very nice. Okay, now you're going to need me to give a give a hard strength roll to pull him out of the water. I grab onto him. I'm trying to pull up and kick out at whatever tentacled beast I can while I do so. Uh, uh, you said strength or con? Uh, con to swim down, strength to pull him out. So a hard strength, you need a 13 in strength. 13, I'm not going to do it. Okay. So I'm trying to pull him up, but both of us are stuck yep. with these creatures. Yes. Uh. <clears throat> okay, oh, that, this should have gone down. All right, Sinus, you've seen Skrillex dive in. You're still no sign of Broda, but ahead, ahead, you see a set of stairs leaning down, as well as the beginning beats of drums. In the distance. Is that far dash to the bottom? So that's uh, you're gonna have to make essentially two dex checks to jump from this gap, and then from this gap, and then you can get down. All right. Well, that's getting ahead of myself. Uh, I'm going to turn to Grimnar, try to cast Holy Bulwark. No, sorry. Try to cast Regeneration on him. Uh huh. And that's a hit. Nice. Uh, so he will have healing, and I'm going to hold my movement until uh, the end of the turn. Okay. So Grimnar, do you want to start in this room or be back in the other room? Uh, uh, I don't want to leave everybody, but it seems like things are dire. Um, I guess he's going to try to just keep pressing forward. Okay. I don't know. So you with the movement, you can get down. You just need to make a dex. Uh... Wait, wait. I you skipped. Me. Oh, sorry, Broda. Oh, bro. Apologize. Okay, Broda, give me a miracle. Nope. And then give me a d4 minus one. Oh my lord. Okay, you're at one. Oh man. Okay, so somebody okay. needs to get. Uh, don't die on me. Or a healing, some healing magic on you within one round, or it's, you will be dead. And I can or can't attempt that? No, you can't attempt that. Can't give mouth to mouth underwater? Nope. <laughs> Holy crap. Out of game and in game. <laughs> Alright, Grimnar, so you want to keep pushing forward. Yeah. I give guess. me, give me a dex check. All right. Nope. Okay. You are now hanging by a hand as you jump. Sinus <laughs> sees this. If you make a successful dex or strength roll, you can pull yourself back up. But if you fail, you'll be hanging by a finger. And if you fall, you're going to take double ultimate. Ooh. But he does have regeneration on him. Yeah. Uh, I'd say come back to the water. That is a fail. 
Okay. Any Oof. any hero coins? I do not have any. Nope. Oh. No. You take seven points of damage. Oh, it's not too bad. Considering. Yeah. That was uh, the fast way to go. Uh, didn't have to take the stairs, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Lands on his butt. Real uh, legs broken, but then the next turn they start mending <laughs> themselves because of regeneration. Do you get to roll a? Does he roll a d8 as well for the regen? Or yeah, he can. Re he so can nice? regen. Oh, he, oh, he gets to choose. Oh, okay. Right now. Yeah, yeah, he can roll. All right. Okay. Just, so he just he kind of steps, stands up, and brushes the dust off. Like, oh, okay. You took the express elevator. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs> okay. You got the timers drop from eight to seven. Before this... before they do, just so I can take the movement I, I held. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I will return to the late cave, and uh, they are currently far far distance. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do because he's on a dying timer one. This is bad. I got no good options here. Um. I can't see them, correct? Correct. Yeah, so I don't have a I, I don't have a heal option. Um, okay, uh, I will go so that I am near distance you, away from. Saying, you, you do go again before. Me. Yes, that is correct. I will go so I'll go to where I'm near distance from their location, which I know where that is. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I'm still on spell burn for that spell, so I have to wait out this turn. Yep. And I will wait out this turn. Okay. And I, for, for purposes, I'm just going to say that I'm in... Can I say that I'm in section two? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. This is going to drop to one... Um, which brings us to a stalagmite it's here in this section, because that's all that's left. But we'll roll again. Okay. Four rounds, another one might break. This one will drop from three to two. Does that <clears throat> mean that the invulnerable takes one? The uh, damage from the stalagmite falling since... He was in that section? He, yeah. Holy cow. Okay, that's sweet. that puts us at 75. <laughs> it's all academic. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. But we'll, we'll say he, he, that, he loses his movement for that one. Okay. That glimmer of hope where you think that he's done for and then you see him claw his way out of a pile of rock. <laughs> Look, I'm literally hanging on by a thread right here. I have to use everything I got. Okay. Uh, Skrillex. Uh, they're going to do a lash on you. Good luck. That is a 14. That's a miss. That will not do it. Okay. They're going to do one more lash. That is a 20. Yep. So that does three points of damage. I'm down to one. Okay. Give me a hard uh, con or strength roll. That is an eight. Not going to do it. Okay. You begin drowning. Take five more points mm -hmm. of damage. As they begin to drag you under, keep you down. I'm out. I'm struggling, reaching for my second bow to try to push back or wrap it around one of them, and then I just lose consciousness. Okay. I'm taking on too much water. All right. Excellent. Not excellent, but we've done it. <laughs> Tension is high. Uh, Sinus. Oh, wait. Uh, no, it's Skrillex. Off... Skrillex. Skrillex. Sorry, Skrillex. Skrillex. Turn. It's, yeah, it's my turn. I just finished my turn. So. I have... Skrillex also has three more rounds of regen. Okay. All right. So do I roll? Uh, which what order do I do that in? Just re uh, D eight right now. Okay. Five. You're back. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I don't go. I don't count the negatives. I just go to zero. Correct. All right. So I'm, I'm back to five. So I. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Skrillex uh, remembers why he went out on the road in the first place uh, just to 
a glimmer of purpose, uh, finds a little bit of breath left, and starts struggling again. And then I get to roll. Uh, let's see. I want to. I want to just. I'm still trying to pull Broda up. Okay. It's going to be a I've normal. I still got strength. him under his under his armpits, just pulling as hard as I can. Nice. Okay. With that, you're able to pull him up to the beach. Okay. Although, if you want, give me give me an intelligence roll or wisdom roll um, to know, kind of get a feeling that Sinus is on the far side. So, if you want, you can be on his side. Ah. <sighs> He knows that this might mean uh, well. He doesn't know in the in the moment that he's gonna leave his mandolin behind, uh, mm. but he's going to. Uh, yeah, he's gonna pull closer to Sinus. Okay, perfect. All right, take a hero coin for that. Well done, my hero. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Then that's going to bring us to Sinus. Uh, Sinus sees him emerge from the murky water uh, with Skrillex hauling with all his might to pull uh, Broda's limp but mighty form from the water. He casts, he can see them. He's in near visual range. He's going to cast Holy, no, sorry, Regen. No, I have to touch him. Man. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to pop him up okay. with regen, please. Come on. Uh, with wisdom, that's good. Nice. Nice. That's my turn. All right. So, Broda, roll a d8. Take a hero coin for that, Sinus. Thank you. Broda's back up a five, and he just kind of doesn't cough or anything. He literally just, like, sits up straight, like, 90 degrees, like, like... Hey, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he just does it facing, uh, and he gets up, <laughs> and he look. He looks around, and he he literally asks, "Yeah, exactly." <laughs> he's gonna ask. Me. This girl's like, "Where's your little you know thing?" <laughs> oh, I left it over there. Damn it. Oh, oh you have one. Nice. That. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, we can go get that. And he, he literally, you know, moves <laughs> here, moves here, <laughs> picks it up for you. Like, okay. I got it. At least I can do. Yeah, that's going to be your full dash. <laughs> just, nice. just nonchalantly, like, picks it up. <laughs> so he's got it now. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh, thank the gods. All right. Yeah, no. Very well done. Okay, Grimnar, you finally see the rest of your friends. Oh wait, no, you don't. Oh, You're oh, down at the bottom oh, of the stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you, you see a the you see a chest as well as a door at the bottom of the stairwell. Uh, he looks at the chest and looks up, and there's like no one there. He's like, uh, but hey, there's a chest here. So he walks over and uh, sees if he can open it. Okay. Yeah, give me give me an attempt. You tell me how. Uh, he's not subtle in any way, so he'll probably pull out his huge sword okay. and just like try to smash it. All right. Yep. Give me give me an, a heart of effort. Oh, just smash it. To, yeah. Uh, all right. He this does ultimate. So uh, that's eight. Okay. You start smashing. You start to see shiny things, but you're not quite through yet. Alright, uh, that's going to bring that down, this down to six. Alright, this is down to four, this is down to one, and our ten timer is gone. Alright, um... We're gonna roll for these guys. So one, two, three. One, two is Skrillex, four, five, and then Broda. So first guy is gonna go after Broda. Second guy is gonna go after Broda. 
The third guy is oh. going to go after Sinus. So two Good on God. two on Broda, two on, and then one on Sinus, and then the the invisible is going after Broda. So let's start with Sinus. We'll do magic. We'll do the spine. That is a miss. We'll do a lash and a spine on Broda, which is a miss on all those, and then the invincible will smite, slash at him. That is a twenty. Oh my God! So you are going to take uh, seven points of damage, and then he is going to bash you for twenty. Can oh. oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going? Okay. I'm going to block. I'm going to sacrifice my shield to block the crit. All right. Nice. Okay, so you nice, only take nice, nice. you only take the first hit um, as you block it, and it prevents you, and you're going to be thrown this way, but no damage is taken for that extra twenty points of damage. Nice. Whew. That does take my shield down. Yep. Yeah, my so I will leave and come back. I'll be right back so I can fix my. We we can. Oh. Yeah, if okay. we need to take a quick bio break, we can we can pause. We've been going for about no, two no, no, hours. No, 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 I was doing it because it changed. He was fine. fixing his, his oh, got defense it. floor. Got it. Yeah. Okay. There. Uh, yeah, my AC change is not no shield. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, but I am. Uh, I am downed. Um, okay. After hitting the wall. All right. You give are me... still running on regen, though. Right. So yeah, you'll get probably... it at the start of your next turn. Okay, Skrillex. Right. Skrillex. I need you to roll a d20. If you get five or lower, the mandolin does not fare well. Oh, fair enough. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Look at how carefully he carried my mandolin, Rhoda. I love you. <laughs> What's either that or I use the mandolin instead of the shoe. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for me. Skrillex. All right. Skrillex is going to um, sternly look at uh, Sinus and say, steer clear of the water friend. And uh, he is going to run as fast as his little elven legs can carry him. And he's going to try to get here. Uh, well, no, he's going to get to Broda, uh, and he's going to look fondly, uh, and just want to grasp the mandolin right now, but instead he's just going to take a knee, uh, and say, stay with me, stay with me, friend. Nice. Don't die on me, man. <laughs> Again, it's not so much you cared about Broda, he wanted to check on the <laughs> you, you, could, you could tell uh, if anyone could see him right now. He definitely looked twice uh, at wh whether he was going to check on the strings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's uh, a... oh, that's not going to do it. Nope. Kind of smacking him, but he's not helping. Okay. All right, Sinus. This brings us to you. Uh, Sinus looks at this tortuous death trap and sees that his friends are mostly clear he looks around sees that he's by himself rolls his eyes and mutters under his breath adventurous we're leaving <laughs> <laughs> and seems he, so long uh, ago <laughs> he heads for the uh door uh if i get to there can i still take an action go for it yeah uh yeah i'm gonna try to cast holy bulwark this time okay uh, on my, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna try to cast regen on myself. Okay. I think I, <laughs> I'm gonna try to cast. Uh, it's such a tough call. I'm gonna try to cast. Uh, I lied. Holy bulwark. Here we go. Boom. Nice. Okay. So I Is got that... ten extra on myself. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. All right. Um. That's gonna bring us to Broda. Give me a D twenty plus a D four. Oh, you're healed, so never mind. Whoop. You are good. He you... will hand off both the mandolin, but also the weapon kit. Nice. To uh, Skrillex. Thanks, I man. have no use for this. 
but I think this one's yours. <laughs> Talking about the mandolin. Yes, uh, he looks at it like a lost lover. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're okay. And then he looks up at uh, Broda as well. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Broda was going to be like, I'm glad. Oh, okay. Yeah, me too. Uh, on his way out, can he try to pick up a few rocks? Sure. Give me a D4. Uh, yep, two rocks. All right. Okay. And uh, that's uh, that's my turn. So Grimnar is not here, and then that's going to bring us to you. So you can do another bout of effort. You got it. You got the plus, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, eleven. There it is. Okay, give me Crack it open. Give me two D one hundred rolls. Nice. Uh, D one hundred. I just hit D ten twice. Is that yeah, just double click it. Okay. Twenty two and nice. sixty. All right, you find a spell that is wisdom, so you can apply it to yourself. Uh, because it's not tradable. You find Healing Nova. Oh. And then your other one was 68? 22 and 60. And 60. Oh, 68 would have been cool. But you also like this one. You get you find Healing Nova, and you find the Ringlet of Jesus. Uh, not Jesus, Genius. <laughs> it could be working either way. Sorry. We might, we might be, <laughs> we might be the first one. <laughs> Anyways, Ringlet of Genius. Use ultimate effort with any successful intelligence roll. Wow. Cool. Anyways. Now that He's you, a you smart dwarf. he is a smart dwarf. Now, uh, so. You know, as you slip that ringlet on, you know that the Ogdru cultist's uh, um, ritual will be complete at the end of uh, six rounds, soon to be five. Mm. Okay. okay. He uh, nervously looks up into the ceiling and looking for his friend who's uh, getting a bit anxious here with that information. Yep. All right, so you still have a movement. If you wish, you can go into the next room. Uh, can I just go to the door and like listen to it? Sure. Okay, I'll do that. So you hear the drums beating louder as you get closer. So you know you're headed in the right direction. All right. Uh, he's just gonna hang tight. Okay. If, uh, his friends will show up here. All right. Uh, this timer is going to drop from 6 to 5. Um, this is going to drop from 1 to 0. This set of stairs is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1. This set of stairs suddenly crumbles. Jumping from here to here is now a hard dex roll. Can uh, I have a I have a question about that? Uh huh. Can we? Since I know this is I C R P G had started as like a five E hack and whatnot. Uh huh. Can we do something more along the lines of an athletics with strength? Because since athletics was strength in that game, where we're not trying to necessarily be agile, but just be athletic. Um. Throw me. Throw me. We could probably work out something. Okay. Well, I was that mostly because I have a I put points in strength, but not dex. So I'm not trying to like tumble or anything. I'm just trying to like jump successfully instead of so. Fall so what we'll what we'd end up what we'd end up doing is I would say you could use strength, but if you fail, it's just a straight fall, like no save after that. Okay. Good compromise. Okay. That's um, fair. As you guys leave, so these guys duck it back into the water. This guy moves forward. You see something breach the water with a crash. Um, let's see, where are you? Ring of Jesus, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you 
you suddenly see this large tentacle Ooh. burst uh, burst out of the water and let's see if it has an attempt on Skrillex Skrillex is definitely still staring at the mandolin okay yep shit <laughs> <laughs> I was finally clear right. this water. It's it slams into you for three, for three damage, okay. um, but it does, and it's going to throw you into the next, into the next room. All right, I'm down to two. He successfully clears the stairs. He's thrown that far. <laughs> okay. I'm never, never going swimming. It's all right by you. I'm going to only put one line about that pool into my next song. What line? I don't know what you're talking about. Never happened. Never happened. Thank you, by the way. Both of you. Okay. That's going to bring us to Skrillex. My friends, it's obvious that Grimnar has been taken by the cultists. We're going to stick together, and <laughs> hopefully no, no, no others will fall. Um... I want to see that this jump is uh, clearable, so um, I'm, I'm not saying that out loud. He's thinking that, and uh, he's going to uh, sit back. Friends, let me inspire you to make this grand jump. And he's going to play a new song for our victory. And he's going to drum out, and that is a 15. Okay. Nice. All right, so that'll drop the target to eleven for one round. Uh, and uh, do I see um, as far as the other uh, structures? It, it looks like this just fell. Mm -hmm. uh, do I hear anything that would alert me that Grimnar is still with us? Or yes, you can, you can, you can hear him. Oh, okay, well, I hear him. He's still alive. We, we need to get well, down there. I kind of step out and I say. Just jump. I'll catch you. <laughs> Alright. That's, that's my turn. Alright. Okay, that's going to bring us to Sinus. What's the damage from a full fall? Double ultimate. <laughs> uh, I cast regen on myself. Which uh, hits. And uh, I step right to the edge. I turn my back. I look at Skrillex and they say, I trust Brother Grimnar. He <laughs> is a wily dwarf. And I take one step backwards and nice. drop off. <laughs> nice. Hey, Grimnar, <laughs> give me give me a strength roll. Got a magic carpet underneath you. you jump that's, out. A, that's a nine. <laughs> that's, he's, he has his arms in the right place, but Sinus slams into the ground. <laughs> taking four points of damage. Hearing that blood, that takes my temporary down to six points, and I say, <laughs> "Good enough, friend. Good enough." I kind of pat off the dust on him. Uh, that's, uh, you're off. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> nice. How long does the temp last? Is it? It's until, until it goes it's... away. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, you took my idea, Sinus. <laughs> So I gain another three. I've got two more after this. Uh, he's like, yeah, that's a... Uh... See you down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grimnar, give me a hard strength roll since you've attempted Sinus already. That's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, that's... he's holding out his arms but closing his eyes while he's doing this. All right, that's Just 11 like points of damage. Moment, kind of opening him up. <laughs> okay, so uh, since he fell so far and he's at zero now, I, I'm definitely going with the idea that his arms and legs are broken. Maybe <laughs> his neck. Uh, like just ma not necessarily mangled, but clear like bones sticking out or whatever. He, was like, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then next turn he'll regen. Nice. All right, Grimnar, your friends have slowly beginning to join you at great. Uh, they've, speed. they've fallen. Yeah, great speed. Okay. What do you had what to do get you wish down to do? here somehow? Uh, he'll probably go over to to Broda and just kind of like. Uh, actually, I've got the 
healing Nova. I guess I could try to do that. Grimnar together. was the first to fall, so Grimnar is a trendsetter. Yeah. <laughs> he he kind of like you know dusts him off as well, but he's gonna try to cast healing Nova and like see if he could just heal him up. Uh, he has zero wisdom, so let's see how this goes. No. <laughs> That's all right. See, what Grimoire was doing was, like, squeezing his fists and concentrating, and then he farts. <laughs> he's like, oh, it's not that bad. You'll you'll be fine. <laughs> he's got he's got bones sticking out, and Grimoire's trying to take his temperature. He's got his exactly. palm of his hand at his... <laughs> nice. All right. Um, so we've done that. So now it's timer is going to drop from five to four. The music is getting louder. Oh boy, we got to catch these guys. Get us out of that room. No. <laughs> that room doesn't exist. You don't need to go back to that room. <laughs> I don't need to see that ever again. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's going to bring us back to Skrillex. So Skrillex is not feeling too well, but he used to do this on the uh, snowbanks of, of Iyer uh, as a young lad. So he's going to do a handstand here, and he's going to flip off this ledge, attempting to land on the stairs. And again, as he's in that pose, he's going to stare out at the Invincible. Said goodbye to you uh, already, my friend. Uh, you've worn out. You've worn out our uh, our acquaintance. <laughs> One and, verse is all you get. And he's going to drop down. Nice. Nice. You make it. No. No issues. But yeah, you're a little further up. Can I? Uh, any more movement than that, or is that gonna? That's gonna be. You can get to like here, so you're ready okay. for the next one. Sounds good. One might say, Skrillex, you need to drop it. <laughs> yes. Friends, okay. move on. Don't wait for me. I'll catch up. All right. Sinus, you hear the drum beats. It, you see Skrillex approaching. Uh, and I know that uh, I know that Brod is on regen, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, I can assume that this little chamber we're in at the bottom is like uh, near distance across wall to wall. Pretty much, yeah. I press up with my back against the door, listening to the sound of the ceremony on the other side. I try to cast Elemental Earth. Okay. Boom. It happens. So there is a bulwark essentially ringing the far edge over here and presumably somewhere into the next chamber. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Rhoda. Uh, the crack of bones and flesh stitching itself as his arms and legs come back and Again, sits straight up at 90 degrees. <sighs> Stands to dust himself off. Uh, and then moves over to the door. Uh, then he will also try to cast regeneration on himself. And he succeeds. Nice. It hurts every time. Okay. Yeah, because it regens the nerves and everything's not cute. <laughs> like, nulls and everything's not Sting like hell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, that's going to bring us to Grimnar. Uh, Grimnar just says to Broda, I'm glad my healing spell worked. That's great. And then he uh, <laughs> pulls out his crossbow and he just bum rushes the door like head first just ramming nice. into it and just st like slams into the space and uh he just open fires on whatever's out there okay 
you see that you can definitely see lights and chanting coming from the far side, but all that remains is a pile of skeletons littering the floors um, where you stand. You step on bones and crack um, them beneath your boot, and then you see these massive statues with these glowing green eyes, these massive gems as big as your head um, set in them, staring directly at you. Uh. He, like he's looking around with his crossbow and he's there's no one to shoot at and they just sort of like oh and just like takes a moment to pause okay somewhere around there would the would there be a rampart yeah that's the rampart right there got it got it okay all right the timer is going to drop from four to three this timer is going to drop from two to one. You can hear footsteps approaching um, from another path. Um, you fear that some cultists may be on their way. Um, and then this one. You son of a... Three point, three point uh, pose as he lands oh, landing. and stands back up. You see a crater beneath his feet. He doesn't attack, but he is now with you. Does he look worse for wear yet, or does he still look the same? Nope. Basically? Pretty much the same. Does he take damage? No, he just does not. For, just for fun. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's see what we can get him to. <laughs> Set the record for... That's 99. Damage on... Uh... 89. 89. Yeah. Well, now, now it's a competition. Now I'm just going to keep pummeling on right, the guy. Right. <laughs> yep, you only have three rounds till the, till the ritual completes. And you can see that it's on the other side of the other room. So Skrillex, your move. All right, uh, so hearing the, the sounds from the corridor beyond and the... Uh, he's getting the tense feeling that we're running out of time. He's going to use all of his movement to get to the doorway. Do I have to... Can I jump past this yeah, go for large it. beastie that won't leave me alone? Yep, go for right. it. Deftly. Okay, and well he's going to get, get as far as he can. Uh, and uh, he's going to, to, instead of playing his... Uh, Instead of playing his instrument, he was ready to greet or um, speak to these cultists, but no one is there. Uh, so he is going to... Uh, he's just going to hold here, get his bow ready for anything that he sees. Okay. Seeing that the guy fell uh, as a free action, he'll look to Sinus and say, once we get in here, can you put a stone up to block the door to keep him from following? I'll do my best. Okay. We'll keep him out for a second. Yeah, at least long enough to where we can get some distance. Alright. Perfect. This is turn. Yep, Sinus, what do you want to do? Sinus runs into the room, he presses his hands up against the rampart, tries to cast Elemental Beast. Uh, hero coins that shit, because uh -huh. that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Get it exactly with plus three wisdom. Okay. And uh, as the creature rises from the stone, I say, I will dub thee Curly. Nice. And I uh, send her on her next turn back toward the the guardian the in, the indestructible thing okay all right broda uh broda will come in here and he'll search this corpse okay give me a d4 there's one piece of loot give me a d100 roll 25 25 okay let me roll that up some ancient loot for you you're gonna find um sorry let's just take a second to 25 is an ice blast spell 
with an is int. It wisdom? It's int. Int. Yep. Damn. All right. Oh, and we know somebody who's super smart now too. Inflict magical damage and immobilize a target for one turn. Curly. All right. All right. Okay, Broda's done. Uh, Grimnar. Uh, does anybody have plus to int? No. Uh, he doesn't have plus, but he ups that to ultimate damage if he uses it on a flat roll. Uh. Flat roll mafia yeah. represent. Yeah, I guess Broda would hand it off to the dwarf. If you want it. Uh, I'll take it. Fell away. Okay. Just want some loot for myself, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Grimnar, uh, what do you, what do you want to do? Or Broda, sorry. Or if there's anything left. Uh, no, I think searching would have taken my turn. Definitely. Or my action. All right, Good. Grimnar. Uh, you are gonna see his legs sort of lined up and like move like a cartoon. Uh huh. And he. He just hightails it as far as he can to nice uh, to the doorway. Okay. Is that is that like a full move? Or... Yeah, it's a full move. All right. So the timer is going to drop from three to two. This is going to drop from one to zero. These cultists, a, p a set of cultists, arrive uh, out of a side room. Um, over Did here? No, I'm not. Uh, over here. Okay. They're all carrying this golden amulet with tentacles coming out, and they're they kind of are surprised to see you. And some they call out, "Interlopers here! Impossible!" Um, and so, and then another one's like, "You there, intruder! Die!" And they just kind of all like are are confused at what you're there but as you do um we're gonna roll so sinus and uh we'll wait for you bro uh brodar broda and grimnar as you pass two blasts from these eyes just dr um drop each of you to zero hit points Mm. As you're blasted with this death ray by these guardians. Uh, Sinus and Skrillex, give me a uh, defense or deck score. Your your roll. Uh, defense is better. So here we go. Plus six on this. Nice. A dirty 20. I get a plus four. So oh, that's not going to do it. Okay. Felix is down. All right, but the the beams seem to ignore the cultists. Bastards. Right. Okay, um, that's gonna bring us back to Skrillex. All right, I don't think I have any regen left. Is that correct? Uh, not that I know of. Okay, so I'm gonna. Roll a miracle and a timer. I got one. Oh boy. <laughs> um, can I? I have a hero coin. Can I roll? Uh, can I use it? Um, you can yeah. do. Uh... Can I roll my death timer again? Um, I don't know if it affects die type. You can roll your miracle again. Yeah, roll a miracle. Yeah. Should I waste it? Uh, Give it a shot, because I'm going to try to get you up on the next turn. Oh, okay. oh wait, you go, you go first. I can't even do that, can I? If you regen on him... Right now, yeah. Yeah, if you cast regen okay. on your turn, okay. it'll happen Understood. on any turn. If you Understood. fail, I'm going to regen on him anyway. Understood. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I uh, I used it anyway, though, right? 
Yep. Yep. Okay. Sinus, you're the only one up. Um, I'm at close range to, uh, really. Yeah, boat is on regen, right? I believe yeah, so. Yeah, I have three more, I have three more rounds. Okay. And I still have, uh, one after this. I'm, I'm at, full, at, at full hit points, but I have one after this. Um, I am going to just touch Skrillex and say, regenerate. And that's a hit. Plus nice. On wisdom. nice. Very nice. Take a hero coin and, for that clutch save. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, then I'm going to run as fast as I can that way. Okay. All right. As you do, you are, you do drop. So you're blasted with a beam. Okay. I will pop up at the mm -hmm. start of my next turn. Okay. Broda. <laughs> Uh, Broda is up at three. Nice. And he will full move here, which he'll be zapped again. Yep, he'll drop. Okay. Um. Excellent. That's, That's going to bring us to Grimnar. Uh, here's my dying roll or miracle roll. Nice. Timer. Okay. All right, you got a two. Okay. That's, that's my turn. That's it. All right, this timer is going to drop from two to one. Our uh, our best friend here is going to enter into the room. Surely supposed to be trying to hold the door. Yep, so they're going to have a tussle. Okay, we're going to do a strength strength contest. Okay, get, you got to beat a seven. Oh, oh man. Uh, no. no plus. <laughs> no plus. Oh, I have, a, I have a hero coin. Can I apply it to that? Sure, go for it. There it is. There we go. Shirley oh. resists. The door slams, but she, but she pushes back. So this thing is stuck there. And these guys walk up to Skrillex. And they're like, what are you doing? What foul things brought you here? I, am I conscious? Uh, sort of. You're like in the midst of regenerating. So um, they like, I see your lies, greed, worshiper. Break on from this sacred place. And they begin, they begin to like drag you this way towards the rest of you. Oh, don't mind me. We are just sent by the gods to destroy you. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are there. I'm gonna say we're gonna open up this scene of what you guys see. We're gonna. So this is gonna be a two. These guys have one round left until their rituals. Their until this ritual is complete. Um, so we're gonna come down to here. And we also have, you see this mass of tentacles. Um, just writhing from this pit. Um, as, you, as you kind of peer in So you get that set up. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, we'll get that. We'll get that all moved around, and essentially, you just have this this swarm of massive tentacles reaching up towards this this crystal that's glowing. Worst possible scenario imaginable. That's that's all you have to say. <laughs> they are they are this close to the ritual being complete. Are they? Is the tentacles trying to get to the crystal? Yes. <coughs> uh, if they if they touch the crystal in at the end of the next round, they will. The ritual will be, be complete. Um, for you guys, you have to commit two hearts worth of effort to destroy the crystal. Okay. <laughs> 
get this moved over. Uh, come on. I can do it. Alright, that's it for them. Um, you also see some chests and everything, but we're back to you, Skrillex. You're being carried okay. by these cultists as, you, as you've revived with your regeneration. So I get to roll a d8 for my regen as yep. they're carrying me. Yep. Uh, my my body feels probably pretty, oops, yeah, still pretty limp, um, but um, regain some regain some health here and st suddenly feel strong enough to try to break free and run from them. All right, yeah, they weren't expecting it, so you can just run if you wish. Nice. Okay. Thank you for the help, up. I'll be on now. Because you were in their protection. The, the the emeralds take a moment. Give me a dex save to avoid it. To, to run fast enough. Nice. Okay. Well done. You make it into the next room without getting hit. Sprinting past them, I join my comrades and, and stare into this awful scene. What can we do to stop them? Yep, you 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 know from legend that the crystal is the key to their ritual. So you do know that the crystal is part of it. All right. We must destroy the crystals, and that's Skrillex's turn. All right. Oh, oh, wait. Can I? Uh, I can't. Uh, yeah, I already took my action. <clears throat> yep. Okay, Sinus, come on. All right, Sinus. Uh, having no ranged options, uh, I will try to buy us some time. I am at six hit points. I uh, will maneuver. Uh, to the appropriate near distance uh -huh. from here, and I would like to try to uh, sort of pave that over with elemental earth and try to s slow the timer down. Okay. So uh, here we go. Oh. Uh, that is uh, 9 on a 15, plus 3 is mod 12, so I'm still short unless somebody's got a hero coin. I do not. Sure That's my it. turn. Uh, yeah, the yeah. only other thing I will uh, do at this point is uh, whistle. Did you use your D8 earlier from earlier? Do I? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. The only thing I will uh, do in addition is whistle for Shirley. Okay. Shirley will begin her That's approach. All right. Sorry, guys. It's all good. Okay. Which good. Um, up at one. Oy, oy. But he is up. Um, that's about near for like the crystal still near. Yeah, I would say you could get okay. you. It's it's up on the ceiling, so like you could get to where it is, but not like actually be touching it because it's on the ceiling. Right. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to check a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes! <laughs> Alright, deal damage. Eight! Alright, eight points of damage. Um, that's, that's, that's me. Alright. Okay, this comes down to Grimnar. Uh, no pressure. Uh, I gotta roll a 20 here, so... Or nope. several fifteens. <laughs> well, he's oh, you down. oh, you didn't have regen. Damn. No. Yeah, he's. I think there's one more round. He's dead. Yeah, he's on a die timer of one at this point. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Gone. Had I know, I I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't good. realize that either. My bad. Yeah, we got two people who could regen you, and <laughs> we're just like, yeah, no, <laughs> hit the thing. <laughs> it's all good. It's it's a uh, good. Uh, dramatic storytelling. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Right. Yeah, that's all I could do. If he dies, I'm throwing the dwarf at the <laughs> crystal. <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, you weren't able to t stop them in time. Ogdru reaches up, grasps the Yog Crystal, and in a flash of light, you feel the magic of this ex uh, extra-dimensional being take advantage of the magic of the Yog, and it just blasts through the room. Their dark deed has has come to pass. You hear the crash of thunder, and you feel the shake of mountains as Norberg begins to crumble off the side of the cliff and the storm begins to pass over Eredrum. Ogdru is on his way. No one likes Nordrum anymore. <laughs> okay. So, this timer drops to one. The cave begins to collapse and the, the cultists cheer despite your, intr your intrusion. They are excited um, to give their lives to Ogdru and his purpose. In three rounds, if you are not outside of the Doom Vault, you will be dead as the the, the, mount, the cave crashes around you. Alright. And are we seeing like a, a spillway on the far end here? Yes, you do see an iron gate. Um... It will take a heart worth of effort to open. Um, there is also this pit that Ogdru has receded into, um, and these cultists. Um, we're going to see how many stay to fight, or others just kind of cast themselves into the pit. Only one stays to fight. The rest cast themselves into the pit after Ogdru. And we're going to say that's the elder cultist here who stays as he watches and commands the rest to join Ogdru. Um, but there is there is the way back, this way, and this way as exits. Um, and then, yeah, for an action, the elder cultist is going to just... Um, he's going to throw a rock at Broda. That is yeah, an 18. Of course. Okay, give me a a deck save to half the damage, which is 13. That's a big rock. Yeah, he he lifts it with his mind and throws it across the room. All right, uh, no, it hits me. I'm down. You just watch as this stone is lifts levitates in the air and just with speed slams into Broda. Okay, Broda's down. Okay, that brings us back to to Skrillex. Our tale is not done. Skrillex is going to stare out at the scene, feeling disheartened, but he is going to raise his friend and says, we are still going to write another one, uh, Grimnar, and uh, he's going to whisper, uh, it is not your time. And he's going to not do it. Damn. <laughs> oh. Alright, no. uh, he's it's still not your time. Maybe it is. Uh, <laughs> he's still uh, hunched over Grimnar, uh, and he's trying to kind of peer around to to see if uh, he can find any other ways out. That's my turn. Okay. All right, that's going to bring us to Sinus. Sinus joins uh, Skrillex. He tries to cast Regeneration on Grimnar. And he does. Very he nice. Pop up on his next turn. Thank you. Alright. That brings us to Broda. And, well, I was going to oh, do movement if I could. Oh, of course. Can I, yes. how, far, how far can I get across the way? Um, we'll say you can get pretty much anywhere in the room with the near. Okay. I'm going to get right up in the face of... Uh, Mr. Ogdrew over here. Okay. Mr. Ogdrew was my father. <laughs> Alright. Then uh, that brings us to Broda. Once again, Broda sits up 90 <sighs> degrees and stands. Cracking Look, his back. Looks and sees the magic on their dwarven ally 
kind of nods. He goes over to this guy. Um, how do you, because I know there's no like rules specifically, how would you do a grappling thing? Basically, what Broda's going to do, or what I'd, what I'd like Broda to do, is wrap arms around and then just fall into the pit with you. Okay. Uh, just give me a contested strength roll. He just rolls flat on strength. Okay. Uh, anybody got a thing? Nope. Okay, great. Awesome. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Okay. I wish I did. It will be easy he's, on your next attempt, though. Okay. So, like, he's all, like, squirmy and ooey, and mm -hmm. Rhoda doesn't <laughs> seem like it bothers him, but really it does. But he doesn't <laughs> show it. <laughs> yeah. He's quite squishy. You can see that he's maldeformed. He's he's given himself to Ogdru, and that, that, that devotion has corrupted him. Okay. That's right. just gross. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's going to bring us to Grimnar, who is revived with regeneration for how much? Five. Hi, guys. Uh, he got a, like, snort, like, snores and, like, s sits up and, like, uh, you know, kind of disoriented, like, did I miss the party? I, what happened? Uh, and I guess he'll, like, surmise what had that the worst has happened, and he's like, do we need to get out of here? Mm -hmm. And I guess he'll just run and take his crossbow and shoot at this thing. Okay. Go our way, whatever. At the, at the gate or at the cultist? Uh, the gate. Okay. And it does not. Yeah, it, bounce, it pings oh. off the iron gate. The, the hinge is still holding strong against that crossbow bolt. Maybe picking up some rust. Alright. That's going to bring the timer down to two. You feel the, the stones around you continue to collapse. The pebbles are falling, um, hitting you in the forehead and bouncing off your shoulders. This crystal, as it recoils from Ogdru's touch, is going to let out a pulse. Um, pulse of energy. Let's see. Uh, everyone, give me a charisma save. Ale. Okay. I will let you guys interpret this how, how you will, but as you are washed over by this energy, you just, you feel this convincing, like, wave of belief in Ogdru that this was the right thing to do, that this went well, that they are doing the work of the one who knows. So, whoever failed, play that as you will in your actions, but uh, no, I'm not going to force you to do whatever you wish. And you can try to resist it later on, but that's what's going over you as you as you get hit waved by this by this energy. Understood. Uh, and then the timer is going to go back for two, is it? Okay. Uh, this guy is going to um, step up, and he is going to take... Um, let's see, is he going to go for... The first one is between Broda and Sinus. Let's see. Sinus is one, two, three, Broda. So, f one, two, three, four. He is going to attempt to crush... Um, crush him as with his telekinetic mind. Give me a con or strength save, Broda. Oh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you take <laughs> you take 5 points of damage as he crushes you with his mind. Okay. And then um Again, we're going to see if he focuses attention on Sinus or Broda. Sinus. Uh, give me... Give me a con and strength save as well. Okay, con save plus three. Just missed. Mm. Um, just missed. 
Okay, you take three points of damage. His, his mind, you just feel this pressure pulling against pulling against you. Okay. Okay. But that's it. Skrillex, your turn. Uh, do, does Skrillex, uh, can Skrillex kind of sense the effect that the pulse had on his friends or not really? I think so. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right. Um, he's going to rush down the stairs and uh, get to as far as he can go. Uh, and uh, with rousing words, he's going to try to uh, embolden them. Uh, this is not where our tale ends, friends. We need to rally together uh, so that we can fight another day. And he's going to try to uh, boost them with uh, his ability, which is going to um, lower the target. Okay. Please. Oh, oh. shit. Okay. So he's, what? he's pleading with them by the side of this pit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how does the natural one work out for you? What happens? Uh, he fumbles over his words. He can't decide uh, what to think about this cultist staring at him or the look in his friend's eyes right now. Clearly. Yeah, I was going to say clearly it needs to go up by two. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <sighs> All right. Well, Sinus, that brings us to you. Okay, um, I will address, yeah, that sucks, okay, um, I will let the power of the, the power pulse from the crystal, uh, I'm going to let do, uh, make my roll hard. Okay. Which means the target would be 20 for me on this turn. Okay. Uh, Not a problem. And I am I, going I will, to... Before oh, sorry, you do that, ahead. I did yeah. want to ask, would him of attacking us, Kane, would that may... Would that may... Would have done anything to what the crystal did to us? Um... Because if... You know, clearly if he's like the elder cultist -y thing and then he attacks us, but we were supposed to be on his side... Would that have it's done more, anything? It's if more of not, a, that's fine. It's more of a feeling that this is right. I'm you're being punished for your for your disbelief earlier. Gotcha. You're, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just... yeah. No, it's a good question. Good question. So, so I know how to yeah do my my thing too. Yep. Okay, but yeah, go for it, Sinus. So... Yes, uh, so I'm going to make my stuff hard on this turn. Uh, question, if I just go up and wail on the uh, hinge with my quarterstaff, that I, I can just deal it effort, right? I don't yep. actually have to roll this turn. It's just an effort. I'll run right up to it, see the weak spot on the hinge, and hit it. And uh, that's just going to be decent. Six plus two. Five points of damage. All right, halfway there. Uh, that is my turn. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, Rhoda. I would. Now, would this be. Tell me if this would be Will or Charisma. But. Trying to do what he did again. To grab the guy, but I assumed it would be a hard save to even think if he should. Like basically, he. I would like. What kind of save would you want for me for Broda to be like? I'm still going to grab this guy and jump in the pit, but if not, he'll go over to the grate. So. And his effort. So. What I'll say is, if you want to do it in a way that is more like, I'm doing this to save my friends, it's going to be just a straight check. 17. If you make it with strength, he's not going to contest it because he was busy attacking you guys. 
then you can have this heroic moment of I'm doing this for my friends, and you do this self sacrifice. Well, I well but, I was I was affected by the crystal. Yeah. So what I'm going to say yeah. this is because you were affected by the crystal, if you tweak your how you're approaching that move and more of a giving yourself fully to Ogdru, you yeah. can you can grab him and make an easy strength roll. And go and be like, oh, we both should be. Joining. Yes, we should do this yeah. together. We must go join. Yeah. Our, so if you tweak the perspective, I'll let it'll be easy. But if you want to, if you want to okay. make the story be, fight through it and sacrifice yourself as that hero, then no, uh, I, I think it'd be funnier for him to be like, come on, we should be joining our other brethren who jumped in. Okay, I will say this: if you fail, you're still going to go in because he just won't come with you. That's fine. Okay. Oh, there it is! Yeah. Come, on. Come on, squishy friend. Let's go, Dad. Brother. Okay. Wow, that was awesome. You drop, you drop in with the elder cultist and slam into the stones, um, the stony altar beneath you. Um, and then, where is he? The Elder Cultist. Okay. Drop that to one. You look around and you see this cave that's etched and squirming with these pulsating uh, pustules. It's dark and gloomy. The water crashes to your left. You you just see these glowing, uh, these glowing sacks of of kind of flesh on the right. And the elder cultist looks up, you know, angrily at you at what you've done. Okay. All right. Um, that's gonna bring us to Grimnar. Uh, he's gonna do his heal to start. Nice. He's nice. up to max now. And then he's going to take aim again and shoot to see if he can hit that hinge with his uh, with his crossbow. Okay. 20. No, does not no. do it. Uh, he will run over to it, though. Nice. All right. Timer's going to drop down from 2 to 1 for the pulsating yaw crystal. The cave is surely collapsing. This is your last round. For you, the target is 18. But as you're you're sitting there looking around in this cave with the elder cultists, something climbs out of the water to your right. I'm getting closer, Ogdru has come for you both. And as its arms reach for you, it pulls each one of you into its gullet. Okay. Um, Broda. Technically, Broda died happy at this. Yeah. Okay. Right. The only way to get out of this is some side, sort of portal. Uh, but you're going to lose one piece of loot. So give me a d10 and just tell me what piece of loot you roll. You're also oh, rolling. The, o the only loot I had was. Uh, armor. Okay, you lose that. You also take six points of damage, and you minus one con permanently. Oh, he's, mm. he's dead. Yep. Oh. What a boss, though. Yeah, what a boss. Alright. That's gonna bring us back to Skrillex. Alright, Skrillex sees the way out, uh, and knows that this needs to be the best shot. He takes his time, lines up his best arrow, takes a shot. You can, Go ahead. I was gonna, you can just run over and hit it, you know. Yeah, if it's oh. melee, you just hit it. Uh, oh, and just do effort. Okay, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that then. So I'm going to take the... Um, I'm going to take out uh, my mandolin and, uh, and say... <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, we've been through so much together, but it's time I put you to better use. Uh, would that be 
weapon? Yeah, uh, weapon. Tools? And just give me a d20 to see if you crit on it. Okay. Oh, okay. But right. yeah, just do Let's weapon. Try. Weapon or tool. And that's gonna, oh, go. yeah. That's going to be enough. All right. Okay, you're free. You can you Smash can enter into the that. Mandolin. The and uh, I'll move as far as I can go. Okay. Tears in my eyes. Yes. All right, Broda is dead. So that's what I meant for Broda. For oh, Broda. Okay, Sinus. Uh, I cast Regen on myself just in case. Uh, I don't make it, but I say Geronimo as we leave this cursed place, and I run behind him. Okay, Grimnar. Yeah, he's gonna jump into the uh, tunnel as well, and can he like grab both? these guys and just like tug them through sure absolutely tries to move through um is that like a strength? no it, i think you're good you you all nice. burst out of the out of the uh the tunnel in into the water of the black wave bay okay you you hear the collapsing stones fall behind you as the the get uh, the tunnel crushes um, just as you dive into the water. Now, Broda is gone, but this is your last your last choice. You can, you see in the water, um, you see a, a great shipwreck, and even deeper you see what appears to be this larger-than-life being, something beyond comprehension. Ogdru um, is uh, proceeding to leave his, his cave and back into the ocean, to continue on with his grand plan, um, you also see a uh, a ship with treasure. But I'll let each one of you just tell me what the final frame is as you as you break uh, out into the waves. Who's up? Uh, Skrillex. Skrillex uh, pained over failing in this heroic uh, deed. Uh, is going to think about uh, Broda jumping into the pit, uh, and he is not even going to go for this treasure, uh, but he's just going to look to his friends and uh, wave them uh, towards the surface, and he's going to start swimming down towards Ogdru, trying to buy them some time. Okay. All right. All right, Sinus. Uh, I'm going to try to cast Regen one more time, making it easy. <laughs> Not easy enough. <laughs> he extends his uh, quarterstaff down to uh, Grimnar to try to give him a helping hand and swims for the surface for the rocks as hard as he can. Okay. You can make it. All right. In Grimnar... Grimnar uh, hesitates slightly and lets go of the staff and mm. draw, draws his two-handed sword and plummets into the depths with his sword drawn facing Agru and a grimace on his face as he goes. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's where we'll end. We'll, things will fade to black as Sinus alone bobs in the crushing waves against the rocks and the fate of Grimnar Skrillex and Broda lie with Ogdru. They missed me. They wanted to come back. <laughs> well done. Doom Vault. Outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> That's a seriously hard dungeon. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> that was rough. Like